Valerie, not today, please. Valerie, please. I'm not in the mood. I'm tired. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not in the mood for your jokes. And Listen, for what I'm about to tell you will save you from a lifetime of pain and agony. I'm not interested. Can I please just have? Please, I'll go inside. If you don't listen to me, you will live to regret it. Valerie, I've had a very long day. I am tired. You see this thing that you're taking would mess you up. Stop taking it. Or better still, why don't you just get something that your head can carry? Mm. You, you see you? You see? Am I drinking it with your head? Am I drinking it with your mouth? What I am telling you is to go back to wherever it is you came from. Or better still, find somewhere to be. I sense danger. I sense danger around you. You have to be careful. Hear what? You know what? I think you should change your dealer. Yes. Change your dealer so that you can be useful. Value. You know what? You don't have to be useful to yourself. Allow someone else eh, get hold of you so that you can be useful to that person. Please. Let me go inside. Please. Twali. Twali. Enter. I need to light my cigar. Here we Enter the chamber. Prince Paka. You are here. Pain himself as a gentleman. What else? He did devil. He's awesome. What is the meaning of this? Have you gone nuts? I have warned you severally to stop drinking this thing that you drink. What gave you the mind to accost me with such demeaning words? Are you, are you, are you okay? Hey, 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 don't talk to me like that. No, no, what makes you think that you are better than me? Tell me, because you are. You are huge and taller than me. You think you are better than me? Yeah? Listen, I came into this world before you knew and you know, you know it. I am your senior and I deserve some respect from you, Nida Paula. Idiot. Yes, sir. I don't know what this is about. But you would have to watch your choice of words. Hey! You foolish boy! Hey, hey! You must be careful with the way you carry yourself in this kid, in that power. Idiot! But it's no boy. So, Prince Obaka, hey, hey! Mikuka! Your name is Obaka, not Prince Obaka. So, all the women you have slept with, in this kingdom are not enough. You, 
There are not enough for you, Waka. That you have to add my woman to it. You know what? You have the guts to sample your two seconds on my woman. Ah, me make that one. I will destroy you. What nonsense are you talking about? Hey, you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Huh? But you have mastered the act of deceiving women in this kingdom. We never make you a king. Yes, you are a low light. Yes, I am. I, 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 who gave me the right to make my problem? You know, Paul? Huh? Idiot! See, let me tell you. The way those rot while lie in between your legs control you, then nobody will ever take you serious. Just to ignore. Hey! 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 I am sound and I stand on my stand that you will never image king. You never image the king of this kingdom. Instead of you, mark the dog to image the king. Oh, we, 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 we decorate a pig and let that pig pull of us. Okay. The peace process has been destroyed. Huh. Someone who must not get angry on the Kuku Market Day has not only gotten angry but has displayed a show of shame and violence. Hello, hey, hello, hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. As a more, this news you are giving us is not good at all. This is no good news. As a more, I will finish you. I, I, I swear, I will finish you. Oh, Baka. Just allow me to get out of this place and I will finish you. I'm just respecting you as my prince. And that's why I'm not kidding you. Allow me to get out of the camera. Come, oh. Prince Ubaka, I suggest you kill Ezazu here right now. Because that is the only consolation for the gravity of what he has just cost you. You idiot for saying that. You idiot! No, no, just, just let me stand up from here. Come, go, girl. If I, if I stand up from here, you are dead. Oh! Prince Ubaka, you are a fool. A big fool. Today is a key market day. Traditionally, the high chief and the elders in council are praying for peace. You are not supposed to get angry. Your presentation as the crown prince of this land is in two weeks. And you start fighting today. You see why I say? Don't hear me. No, Mano. Mano, somebody is going to die today. Just allow me to get off me. The prince. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Prince Abaka. Yeah. The one we are to name the crown prince. Hey. The heir apparent to the throne in the next two weeks. Hey. The one we came to pray for. Hmm. He has ruined everything. 
by desecrating the Kukwu market dead with anger. Hey. Hey. The planned presentation we no longer hold for the one who is to be presented has destroyed his link to the spirits. <laughs> How could you do this today of all days? And you could not control your temper, knowing full well the consequences of air apparent. Getting angry on a K market day. Father, I tried, Father. I tried, Father, to defeat this devil, Father. But it was beyond my control. Ezazo called me a low life, Dad. Imagine Ezazo. He called me a low life that can never emerge as king. How can he say that to me? And you had to prove him right. He said you can never emerge as king, and you have to prove him right by making it impossible for you to emerge as king. Ubaka, you young men of nowadays, why is it that you cannot control your temper? Why? Where are we going to find a king who cannot control his temper? Where does that kind of king reign? Let me step down. No, thank you. Leave my drink for me. What? I can't share your drink with no, you. No, you can't. Why are you trying to add to my woes? Let me, let, let, let me take this and, and, and see if I can calm down. Uh, no, no problem. I'm not saying you should not drink. What I'm saying is leave my own drink. You can drink the entire brewery in this kingdom if you want. Maybe that will make you have sense. Because you don't used to hear what. You hear what. Why are you insulting me? Not insulting me. Let me not forget that you're my sister and deal with you. Don't insult me. On top of the vex where you just vex now. Where it puts you for the predicaments where you did. You still get my vex. What, why just what how was that my fault? <laughs> you are supposed to be sitting down there now. Sitting down there and thinking of your life. That I was not my fault. You. I warned you. I told you. I said to you, make sure you go back to wherever it is you're coming from. Better still find somewhere to go and hide. You said no. Valerie, you are a drunkard. Valerie, you smoke. Valerie, this, Valerie, that. You've seen it? You see why I say you don't have sense? You don't listen. You don't listen. This house. This house is just, just evil. Ah, 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 ah. Ezazu is not the enemy. It's time you settle with the enemy so you can be crowned the king of this land. And who is the enemy? <sighs> this disaster could have been avoided. <sighs> yes, exactly. But he could not avoid it. He picked a fight on a K-Market day. I am here to know what can be done to solve this problem. Igwe, yes. you know that there is nothing that can be done about this. Oh yes, the prince brought this upon himself. You shouldn't have been, you shouldn't have been here in the first place. Yes, let the prince face the consequences of his action. Look, look, uh, 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 this is not about the prince. It is about me, my prestige. What will be said of me if I cannot deliver one of the most important tasks left for me to deliver? What would my father mm. think of me? Prince Upaka Naban Udumili is my only son. And if he cannot become king after me, the kingship will now move to another family. You must do something. I feel the gods have the way of solving the problem of a good man. But the way it is, 
we should leave things the way they are. What greater shame is there to suffer? The gods are merciful. I know. They should show mercy. This is hard, Igwe. But there's something that can be done. But he does not guarantee anything. It will be rest assured that the gods will not put you to shame. I, I agree with you completely. But I want to know that thing that can be done. Can you go 90 days without any scandal? Dad. 90 days? Yes. 90 days. Come on. You should be happy. At least there is hope. Uh, 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 it's in a slowdown. You don't understand what's going on here. Uh, look, it's not as easy as you think. Uh, Dad, please, uh, be specific. 90 days for what? what, what did they mention the, you know, what scandal exactly are they talking about? No matter what the scandal entails, please, Obaka. You must observe it. You don't have a choice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't <laughs> mean to laugh. <laughs> Prince Ukwaka here. How, how will he escape scandal for 90 days? <laughs> it's not possible now. Except you tie him up. Then it will be possible. Shut up. Sorry. Keep quiet. Dad. What I'm saying is that the, the chief priest should have at least, you know, just let us know what kind of scandal. It, so that I, I, I know exactly what to look out for uh, uh, and what to avoid. What, what. If you know what is good for you, stay away from trouble. If you lose this throne because of your rascality, I will not forgive you. <laughs> the stupid son <clears throat> of a good father. <laughs> father excuse me, sir. <laughs> Obaka, there is no excuse. Yes, I will never forgive you if you mess things up. Never. Well, my elders, I thank you all for finding time within your busy schedule to answer to this impromptu call. Thank you. The matter at hand is such that I cannot handle a loan. That is why I summoned you all. Your Majesty, you should not be thanking us. No, 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 you should not. You are not just our king. You are indeed a good man who has touched the lives of practically everybody in this kingdom positively. So to summon us is your right. And once you summon us, we are, we are compared to come and answer. Exactly. You are very correct to know. Your Majesty, honestly, you are the kind of king all kingdoms pray for. We are solidly behind you. <laughs> um, and we are very blessed to have a man like you as our king. <laughs> you, you make me feel like a superman. Yes, <laughs> our own superman. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I... As you all know, the presentation of uh, Prince Shukpaka as the next king of this kingdom, as the heir to the throne, will no longer hold in two weeks' time. Yeah, uh, uh, Your Majesty, I think you are missing the point. And uh, the onus of clarifying you is on your know, and I think I will do justice to that. It, it is not as it is no longer going to hold in two weeks' time. The verdict is that it is no longer going to hold at all. Because your son went angry on the super Eke market day and then he desecrated himself by slapping somebody and therefore he lost the connectivity with the gods and the ancestors of this land. The issue here is that he is no longer going to be king of the Kingdom. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you are not completely wrong. But the truth of the matter is that uh, the prince has been given a second chance. How? Huh? I don't How? understand. Oh, 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 what does that mean? Give it another chance by who? Well, the prince 
is to live for the next 90 days without any scandal. If he is able to live for the next 90 days without scandal, then the connectivity with the gods will be restored. And then the elders will, with their vote, decide if they are in agreement with this uh, development. If they vote yes, then we now go ahead with the presentation. But if they vote no, then the kingship will now move to the next family. So I called you here for two reasons. One, to tell you of the development. Then, to seek for your support this time around. Do I have your support? Of course, Your Majesty. Ah, you shouldn't be asking that. You have our support. So as long as what you are telling us now came from the mouth of Zebuzo, the chief priest of Ubeke Kimba, then you have our support. Of course. Your, your Majesty, you should count on us. Eh? We are uh, with you. Uh, my king, yes. you will always have our support. Oh, yes. Oh, thank, you. Yes. thank you. Thank you. I know I can count all of you. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a job for you guys. And what is the nature of the job? Do you guys have any friend in the palace? I don't. I don't have. Well, I speak with the crazy one, Bala. But we are not that close. I see. I need you girls to penetrate the palace. There is a mandate that the prince must not have scandals. I heard about it. Okay. <laughs> so, why do you want us to penetrate the palace? Mm. My dear, you see, I want the prince to have more scandals than the gods can count. And how are we going to do that? Just penetrate the palace first and leave the rest to me. What is this about? What is going on? We have been allowing you to live your life the way you want. But this time, you have to live on our own terms. We are watching your every move and we'll never allow you to bring shame into this family. You no longer have the freedom you used to. Valerie! Valerie! Is it my turn? Speak your mind. Hey, okay. Remind me again, what did you people say I should say? Tell me so I can say it. Like seriously? What is wrong with you? Do you really care at all? You people are wasting your time. You are really wasting your time because the gods have arranged this thing the way it should be. If you like, tie Prince Upaka here for 100 days. What will be, will be. It is called the will of the gods. You know what? That's that's it, guys. It's it's okay. If you all are done, please just allow me. Be. We're not giving you any space. We won't allow you to ruin this family. Believe yourself, please. Prince Obaka, all we are trying to say is that we will not forgive you if you mess things up for us. I don't say I'm going to mess things up. <laughs> is it not you again, <laughs> Prince Obaka? Prince of Skanda. When there were many women in this village to sleep with and slap out of your room, they ask for more. And men to slap because they try to be men and not allow you to belittle them. Or workers you could slap out of the company. That's okay. Right, I, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to mess anything up. I have this under control, please. Get up, stand up. Stand up.
stand up for your rights. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Why did you do that, Valerie? What are you doing here? Do you have the death wish or something? Hey, 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 hey. I came to carry my things. Yeah. Yes! You want to throw me out of this place without my things? Or have anybody seized my things after sleeping with my woman? How dare you? Hey, hey, hey. Go, go, go. Let me in here! Who opened the gate for you? Is it one day? You slap me! Now you want to slap her back? Mm -hmm. My friend, if you do not leave here this minute, you will sleep at the police cell. You idiot! You idiot to have said that to me! And I'm in a, in a polar. Look at this story! Police cell! Police cell is too small! Police cell is too small! Listen! I was once detained by the Navy in their underground cell! This man that you are seeing here is a very hardened man! And I'm not going to live here without my things! Without Paul! You want your food? You want your food? You want your food? You're going to sleep at the cell and you're going to starve for 40 days and 40 nights. Stop! Stop! Listen, listen, listen. You know why you guys, you girls are not yet dead? Because I don't, you are women. I don't lay hands on women. Just call your brother, can't go away now. Really? Really? Hey! Hey! Look, I don't want to see that man here again. I don't want to see him here again. No, no, no. In the bush, well, it is not as if I doubt that you didn't say what the king reported that you said. It's not equally as if I am calling our king a liar. But I am one of those men who like to hear from the horse's mouth. That's why I'm here to ask you, in Zebuzwe. When did the gods of our land start giving options? The ways of our gods are quite different from the ways of men. I agree completely, in Zebuzwe. Oh, oh. Uh, but I am the owner who of this kingdom, and I am in a position to confirm to you that what the prince committed is a huge abomination. A man who can lose it on a careful market day and raise his hands against another man has automatically lost connectivity with the gods of this kingdom. And such a man cannot be trusted to be the chief custodian of our cultural heritage of Umweke people. Are you not aware? And that is what you think as a man. What if the gods are thinking something else? Yeah, the gods cannot be thinking something else. Because we are men who have lived with the gods all their lives. We understand the functionality of the gods. And I am telling you that what I am thinking is exactly what the gods are thinking. Why are you the one thinking something else? Oh no, in this case, you do not know the way the gods function. For they are the ones that asked me to give the option that I gave. We should always allow the gods to always have their say and their ways. So because you've not seen my brother in the last one month, you decided to come here instead. Let me ask you one question. Don't you have something doing? Are you that jobless? I didn't decide to come here on my own. The prince called me. He's the one that invited me over. And even when you knew what your visit to this family would cost us, you still decided to come. Are you this stupid? I don't know why you princesses are reading many into my visit. I, I'm harmless. The prince is my friend. <laughs> we have not said that he is not. In fact, he is your husband to be. I never said that. What I'm trying to tell you is that even if you are his wife to be, we will still not let you see him until the end of the period. Which period? Say, listen, you guys should just allow me to go be with my man, okay? 
Are you people still talking to this woman? Someone you should slap! Please, please. And reset her brain. Valerie, please don't go violent on this. I, I don't want us to cause a scene. What are you talking about? An intruder that you've asked to leave your house and has blatantly refused. Isn't she the one causing the scene? Me, you don't even know me. Why are you calling me an intruder? How am I an intruder? No, you are not even an intruder. You are a prophetess and you have come to prophesy with his microphone. What? How will you get out of here? Get out of here! 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 You girls are too calm. You're not letting anything from me. Hey, hey, hey. Good is all over. How are you today? Fine, thank you, sir. Fine, thank you, sir. Good boy. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You needed to be. Oh, not for more. Oh, you, you, you ready to be? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. This is my promise to you. The guy is. Hey, 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 and very soon it will be possible. Oh no, we will be there, sir. So I will become the chairman of Tiba Market. What are you saying? You mean you will be, and I mean what I say. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Oh no, where you are not, you are not only a deadly traditional man. Yeah. You are equally a deadly politician. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I like to hear people give me that kind of compliment. I am telling you. I will serve you forever. Yeah. I will serve you forever. <laughs> you know, for you to have succeeded in making him lose it on the cuckoo market day <laughs> and got himself disqualified and crippled, <laughs> you deserve more. Thank and you, I'm sir. going to do more. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and there is something I still want you to do. <laughs> yes. Anything or no? Anything, just say it and I will finish it. Mm. I'm telling you, <laughs> I am ready I, for you. I, I need you to, to conclude what you started. Here, you know, just, just give me the clue on how to finish it and it is done. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> hey! Do you know what? Uh, 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 can I go now? You mean the car? It has full tank already. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> the rest of the week. <laughs> when I leave now, I will just be driving and I want that matter. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Hi, I was talking to you. Hi. I was talking to you. Must I answer? Not really, I just wanted to say hi. Okay, hello. No, please don't walk out on me. I just wanted to say hi. And I have said hello. What exactly do you want from me? Listen, Valerie, you're the only happening thing in that palace. So, I want to be your friend. I don't like your face. In fact, I don't like you. You look like somebody that will wake up in the middle of the night to suck my blood. And I don't like blood suckers. Come off that, Valerie. You can't ask around about me. I'm harmless. Okay. So what can you offer me? Because I mean, I don't make friends with people that can't offer me anything. I will be there for you as a good friend and a sister. Please don't turn me down. If you know your history, then you will know where you're coming from. 
you would need not to ask me who the hell do i think i am he's just a buffalo soldier dreadlock rasta follow me dreadlock rasta what kind of a human being is this You must be careful with the way you carry yourself this kid or in that power. Idiot! But it's not bored. So, Prince Obaka, hey, hey! Mikuka! Your name is Obaka, not Prince Obaka. So, all the women you have slept with in this kingdom are not enough for you. They are not enough for you, Obaka! That you have to add my woman to it. You know what? You have the guts to sample your two seconds for my woman. Ah, me make her work. I will destroy you. Where is this woman? Who is this woman? I've never really bothered to find out who she is. What happened? What happened to his eyes or what happened to that young man? He has changed completely all of a sudden. What happened to him? In the war for America, fighting on the life, fighting for survival, freedom from the mainland, parts of the Caribbean. Come on, 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 Listen. I came to pick my things. My car is parked outside. I don't want any trouble. But if any of you was trouble, I came prepared. Essas, I thought I told you that I would send your things to your house. You idiot! You don't have any right to set this your feet into this palace again. Yes, Azu. Leave this palace. You are not allowed in here except the king says so. Oh, except the king says so. Listen. I came with my car to park my things. And you don't expect me to go back with my car without my things. What are you, boy? You see these guys? This bodyguard that you are seeing here, they are well trained. I'm telling you, they are not your fancy. I am going in there to pack my things. I don't want to rough anybody. But if you wanted to do, you do but you see what my sisters, you can go to a movie. Let him go inside and pack his things. Moreover, father has forgiven him, so let him get his things. Father, how can you say a thing like that? This is just should be made to pay for his sins. And not to let back him into this palace. You should let him talk to me, shut. I am way older than your elder brother, elder Paula. In other words, I can be a father to all of you. Where are you talking to? I am more ungodly exhausted than you all used to know. This exhausted that is standing here now owns a car. What did you see me with in the Allah? You are not here. You shot. I am going in there to pack my things and nobody will stop me. Hey. Yes, you will go in there. My sisters, please. Eh? Don't, don't say, uh, don't try to stop him. I don't want problems. 
I can't do it, Bajan. You could be cousin. I don't want problems, please. Go inside. Oh. What's your things? That is it. Valerie. Valerie. Oh! You are the only one that understands the language and the signal. I will bless you when the time comes. Guys, what's eh, 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 No, 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 no. That one will not be possible. So we cannot allow strangers into the palace. You can go in and get your. You idiot to have said that to me. Now, Paula, look at this idiot. You forced me into saying that I will bless you when the time comes. I will do that statement. I will deal with you when the time comes. Lala, idiot. Guys, turn up. Just come down. Let me go in there. If anybody misbehaves, let me tell you. Let me tell you all of you. If you be, if you dare misbehave, eh, I will tell them to abuse you, Lord Obu, and I will take care of the chemist's treatment. You idiot! Abu, no, the matter is what they make. Tell me, I saw what happened to you, idiot. someone walks into the palace and says they are looking for a job. That is how I understand you and I am... Hey, hey, excuse me, my princess. I'm sorry for cutting you short. I'm sorry. But I think you may have misunderstood me. I'm not looking for a job in the way you are presenting it. I am here to offer my free services to the royal house. That's all. But you are saying the same thing. The royal home is not lacking any services, so I'm sorry to disappoint you. We will not be needing your said services. Please, my princess. Please. Can you give me at least a chance to explain the type of services I can render? Like I said before, the royal home don't need any services. <laughs> Isn't it? Please, let's just hear out. Thank you, my beautiful princess. See, I'm not here for your money. No, 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 no. I don't need your money. I'm here out of my benevolence, out of the love I have for the royal house. That is why I'm here. Um, it's okay. Let it not be quoted that I denied someone an opportunity. So tell me, what can you offer the royal home? Thank you, my beautiful princess. I am a certified etiquette teacher. I'm actually grounded on etiquette and courtesy. I have been watching your sister Valerie for a long time now. The way she dresses, how she behaves, 
everything about her doesn't speak royalty at all at all so that's why i'm here i know that if given a chance to be coming into this palace frequently i will be able to transform her for the best that's all The lady in question said a whole lot. She said you don't behave like someone that has the royal blood. You don't even act like someone that's associated with royalty. She said that she wants to help you and package you so that you can look presentable. Then that you act like someone from the quarter. There is nothing she did not say. She said a whole lot. A whole lot. So is it when someone said, oh, of this about me and you let her walk out of this palace in one piece mm, not like that i wanted to do something but i remembered you don't like someone fighting your battle for you so but the least you could have done was to keep her here till i return okay i'm sorry but i told her to come back because I trust my sister and I know what she can do. Hey, I, I, now you are talking. Correct girl. She's she wants to help humanity. She wants to help Valerie, the sweet divine. <laughs> she wants to transform you, you know. She go walk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I trust you. Hey. No, good boy, sir. Hey, Zazu, how are you? I've been calling your number and your number was switched off. What kind of play is that? Oh, no, I am not fine. I have been in the hospital for the past few days. What happened? You have malaria, what? Valerie is my malaria. I'm telling you. That guy nearly switched off my life. Can you imagine? What kind of talk is that? I, 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 I want to carry my things from the palace. Uh, and the girl rushed me, locked me up, and beat the living daylight out of my eyes. I don't understand. Uh, that small valor, uh, that cockroach, beat you up in the manner you are describing to me now, and you are not even ashamed saying it to somebody. Oh no, that girl is not a small girl. She's not a cockroach. I'm telling you. She, uh, for, 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 forget about that. She's not a, a, small, a, a small girl. Moreover, she took me on her ways. And uh, those brainless princesses joined her. What nonsense is that? See, although I am here to tell you to go tell them to release my face. What nonsense is that? Eh? See, see, although I bought four new boxers before they threw me out of the palace. Four new boxers. Four. And what are they planning to do? I just plan to start wearing my boxers. Oh, well, 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 as as I am seeing it differently. You have four boxers, right? Four, four, four. Now, let me tell you that what? even if it is only one boxer you have in that palace, that has given you a reason to go back there. Oh. Of course, because that boxer is your property and you must have to go back for your property. And in the process, you will then execute the task I give you. I told you that you have not executed the task, that you still have something to do. Didn't I brief you? I, I, I am not going back there again. God forbid, no. God forbid what? I, I, I can't go back to that palace again. Even my corpse will never agree to go back there. Well, yeah, young man, you have to have a, have a grip of yourself. How can you be talking like a fool? Listen, you have something you started. You are going to conclude what you started. That is how Ben behave. Or are you telling me you are no longer a man? You are a man? Yes. Show it. Uh, then you have to go uh, you have to go there and find out when that idiot, that witch Valerie, when she will not be in the palace. That is the only way my legs can touch that place again. Because you know why I'm saying this? If I decide to handle that girl, me where? Why are you decide? You are not being fed this family and you know it. How can you be the first son of the children in this palace? And yet, you're the one trying to bring this family down. You might want to watch your language. 
or the women are bringing the family down. It's called scandal. And it does not take time to blow up. And considering the fact that we have evidence showing that there are so many people trying to bring this family down, I feel we should be more careful. I am careful. I am in charge of my life and I know exactly what I am doing. Oh, really? No, I don't think so. You don't know what you're doing at this moment. You don't. What is wrong with both of you? Hmm? What is the problem? Why do I have this feeling that both of you have been propelled from somewhere to provoke me? So that I can slap one of you and then it will be said that, oh, <laughs> he got angry and then slapped one of his sisters. What is this? What is, what is this? Big brother, you are just flailing off for nothing. All we are begging you is for you not to go anywhere. Exactly. You will be tempted to come back with a babe. And we feel those women are the ones that will cause the scandal that will ruin these 90 days. Exactly what we are talking about. Uh, well, listen, I, I'm going out quite alright. But it's not like I'm going to town, like I'm going out, going out. To, 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 to bring a woman home. No. I'm going to town. To get something. And I'm back. Okay, fine. If you want to go get something outside, tell us and we'll go pick it up for you. And we promise we're going to be careful with your errand. Just please don't go anywhere so we we'll understand what is happening. <sighs> oh well, not every responsibility can be delegated. However, however, I'm going to consider your offer, but just let me be. Just think about it. bow down to the same thing I was just talking about. He does not really understand the gravity of losing the throne, what it means to us. I am beginning to think somebody is controlling him from somewhere. I don't even know how we are going to unmask what is happening. I don't want to disturb you, I swear. I work out this whole village and when I read John Cloyer, now I see say, hey, my drink, don't finish, I fuck up. Empty, empty, don't finish. I'm waiting there now. One hour, I say one hour, one minute it has finished. One minute is too far. I beg, get a drink for inside your chamber. I beg. They just give me small mash shack. I beg. I beg. This one will go reach me. So, with everything that is happening in the palace, uh, your problem smoke and alcohol. But are you that inconsiderate? Guy, relax now. Chill. Ah, ah. You won't make a carry on a matter for head? Reason or nah? I don't feel, I don't feel they do that kind of thing. I beg, I beg, if you get a drink, just give me. No vex, no vex. Eh? I beg. Bros me. Bros me. Afana. You know, I'm still wondering what gave you is also the heart to insult and fight me. He has never done something like that before. I'm just, I'm really wondering. <laughs> that means, my brother, you are in La La Land. Yes, because I warned you. I tell you the day where you did fuck up. But you didn't listen to me. Guy, forget this matter. I beg, give me a drink. Make a drink. Me will go inside chamber. No, so you get some things there. I beg, I beg. Just small, small. You know, if you continue this, you'll stop talking to you about serious matters. I won't tell you what I know. What do you know? <laughs> I know, I know, so you go, I know, it's I know. Just, just come, me will go inside your chamber. Two bottles, two bottles. I, 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 I swear, I will tell you everything you want to know now. This minute, no, 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 no. Two bottles. Two bottles. <laughs> two. Only two. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I know say good reason now, my guy. 
Give it to yourself. <laughs> you go still beg me. No be me. <laughs> go beg me with the drink and I know we'll tell you anything. Where yeah, baby girl go see drink now? Ah ah! Let me fuck up. Where I go see drink now? Where yeah, baby girl go see drink now? Hey! Fuck up! Fuck up! Fuck up! Ezazo, Ezazo. The first lady herself. Oh, Mona. Hi. <laughs> I can see you are enjoying yourself. <laughs> Come on, feel free, feel at home. Any man. If you need any other thing, just tell me. It's yes, alright. Okay, me. It's alright. I trust you. <laughs> the first lady herself. Mona, no man. I had that too. <laughs> hey, but then Ezazo, mm? what happened? I've been trying to call you ever since I heard the news. Mm. But your phone has been switched off. What happened? Mm. About my phone. It's a very long story. Eh? Yes, I had a small problem after that day. Okay. So I switched off my phone. Eh. Mm. Um, well, um, I've been trying to know how you pulled that off. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be very curious. I'd be good. If you are a man now, I could have just said that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a small job now. Nah, nah. It's a small minor thing. Don't you trust yeah. me again? I trust you. Uh, <laughs> Immediately, you told me that you want to bring the place down. Immediately, I saw. Switch into thinking until they only approached me. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Uh, oh no, I am sorry. Uh, I, I'm not going to do something like that. Uh, 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 I, 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 I took an oath to the royal family. So I don't think that, you know, I cannot do it, sir. What I understand here is that uh, you you still lack understanding of what I am saying. Huh. Ezazo, I am not asking you to do anything bad. I am not asking you to go against your royal oath. I just want you to invent something. Something that you will tell the prince on a cuckoo market day and he will go berserk and eventually unthinkable and got himself crippled. Nah, nah. See, oh no, Prince Baka is like a brother to me. But no, no. I can no. I don't think I can do something that will hurt him, man. No, this is too difficult, no. sir. Because, 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 just tell me another thing. I cannot do this to him. Eh? Even when I buy you a car. Joe, hmm? you buy me a car. As in, like, not a car. It's not. I'm not going to buy, going to buy you a Nigerian used car. I'm going to buy you a first class to go What I want you to do is very simple. Invent something. Provoke the prince on a cuckoo market day. Let him do something that will disqualify him. You know what? I, I know you can do it. Uh, oh no, I like this idea of a cow. Good. But, uh, hi. 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 Yeah, uh, 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 I don't think I, I, I will do it, sir. See, see, the, uh, the royal family has been so good to me. Uh, cutting them would be. And that prince in the Waji walk on. Sorry, sir. That, uh, that Iwoko is what I want you to capitalize on. Go away, the Iwoko. See, that is hot temper. I want you to capitalize on the hot temper. Push him to the wall where he will have no other option. Listen, apart from the car, I will equally make you the chairman of our home worker timber market. That market where there is money, you will be the chairman. Wait. You don't understand? You will buy me a car mm -hmm. and also make me 
the the chairman of Fumweke Timber Market. Where the money is? I am in. I am in. I will do it. No, you are talking. No, you buy me a car. I will be chairman. You will sit on top of the road and move that market. They go coming. That God will get you. You are not your master. No, no, no. Oh no, I will do it. Good. I will do it the way that he will have no other option than to get angry and then cripple himself. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to get a card there. Yes. Don't worry, sir. I will do it. I will do it. Don't just worry yourself, sir. I will do it. Hi. I planned it and I executed it in a way that he had no option than to retaliate. And that was on a cuckoo day. A cuckoo market day. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Hey! I'm it be too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am so happy for you. <laughs> but then. Mm. I still don't understand what the Onowu stands to gain from all this. Does he want to be the king of what? What is his motive? <laughs> I don't know. And I don't care to know. All I am after is my car and my chairmanship. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I have gotten my car. I am waiting for my chairmanship. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then, as as well, mm. in, in all honesty, mm. I know someone again here, but it's just the two of us. Mm. Are you trying to tell me that Ono actually gave you that car? Before Uncle? Yeah? Where do I have money to buy a car? You're gonna car up in a palace. How much do you think they pay us in the palace? No nonsense palace, huh? Yeah? Oh no, who is talking and do? I am telling you. Just after I pulled that don't worry. I'm God. The priest disqualify. Oh no, what for Muka? Oh no, we too much. Hey. That man. If I am to say eh, that man, I am ready to worship him forever. I'm telling you. You are serious. Eh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but there's us. Eh? We still need to find oh. out what he stands to gain from all this. Eh? Hey? What does he stand to gain? Just like you want to achieve your own agenda. Oh no, also has this. I tell you. Listen, Ndidi. I am thinking you should be working with Ono. I'm telling you, he is the man of the moment. And he has an answer to every important question. Ono would you? Oh no. Eh? I am Ndidi. I am my own boss. Ne, ne, ne. I don't need to work with anybody to achieve my My wife, go and see that Akorobi, she idiot. Are you not a woman? And so? Ask the man, so you know what I'm talking about, Ndidi. Ndidi, I know that women will not want to uh, work under anybody. They will want to do everything on their own and then end up making a lot of things. Oh, shut up, Ezazu. Shut up! Listen, there are women and there are women. Mm. And hey, I'll remind you about this someday. Oh, what about oh, women, women, women? Let women. me check you. Oh, where about going now? Is there a drink, drink, drink? Women, women, women. In a way, I can't win. I'm not a ha! I said, women, they will come back to that idiot. Then you did you. What we don't know who, and he will show you the way. So whatever, follow who no run. Oh no who no Oh no who? Oh no who? Oh no who? Hey, see how the super. I'm ready. Ah, come on, bitch. Good afternoon.
princesses of our land. Welcome. You can go. And what are you doing here? Princess, won't you at least offer me a seat? If there is anything you want to say, say he's standing here. Fine. <clears throat> I came to see the prince. I have an important information for him. The prince is not disposed to see anybody. And not even anytime soon. So if there is anything you want to say to him, say it to us. Maybe I should come back when he is disposed. As you wish. So when can I come back? Like I just told you, if there is anything you want to say to the prince, say it here or you forget about it. about the incident that happened between Ezazu and Prince Obaka. What about it? It was a commissioned job. Commissioned job? Oh, how do you mean? I think I can fix it. Ezazu was commissioned to do whatever he did. Can you say who commissioned him? What is this now? Huh? What is it with both of you? Well, I can't go out anymore without the both of you running my phone now with calls. You should know that you are our hero. And we're only looking out for you. Even in the deepest part of your heart. You, you know we hold you in high esteem and we can do anything for you. Right. <laughs> okay. I see a proper setup for a blackmail. It's okay. Let's have it. What is it? It was indeed a commission job. We just had it and we have every reason to believe it's the truth. Commission what? That, that, that does not make sense to me. What are you saying? It was Ono all along. He used Ezaz to get you to flare up on a Kemaket today and got you disqualified from being presented as a possible custodian of the reins of powers in Nomeke Kingdom. Oh, well, hold on. Well, that statement does not make sense. What, what do you mean? She just heard her. Onobu promised Ezazu a car and chairmanship of the timber market if he succeeds in provoking you or making you ruin your chances. Ezazu is, Ezazu is a fool, we all know, but I don't see him being able to pull that kind of stunt. Uh, I don't think so. But how did the two of you get to know of this? Someone who overheard Ezazu telling someone else about it. And right now, Ezazu is a car owner. The same car he came with here the last time he was here. And that car is a direct fulfillment of promise made to him by the Ono. The only thing remaining right now is to become the chairman of the timber market. Can this be true? Huh? No, no, no. This, this, this. What? Is it true? So true. What? No. What? No, this cannot be true. Ah! <laughs> Look, if this. Ah! These people have pushed the wrong button. 
Look, if this is true, if this is... Where is he going? No, allow him. He needs to do his own investigation and decide how to fight this. You and I need to find a way forward. We need to sit down. Sit down. Redemption song is all I ever heard. Redemption song, the song of freedom. Cause all I ever heard. Redemption song. Redemption song Cause all I ever have Redemption song Cause all I ever have Redemption song The song of freedom All I ever have Read this. Read this. Would you believe that it was Ono who paid Ezra's song to provoke me? <laughs> so it was all a setup. I did not know. And I foolishly fell into it. But I tell you now, I told you that Ezazu is not your problem. But you thought I was blabbing. I, I saw I saw him, yes. And when I saw him, I knew that it was him. Eh? You saw what? Father, why are you always high? I'm discussing something as important as this, and you're making a mockery of it. How am I making a mockery of this? Hey, you can choose to believe me if you want. I mean, I saw everything before it happened. That's why I want you to leave the palace. But you know, hear. You know, listen. I wonder why you know we will do this to you. Oh no, has paged me, and he's coming to hear from me. No, 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 no. That's not what I want to hear. You have to find ways to make peace with Ono because if you go to war with him, it will not end well. I will not only go to war with him. I'm going to tear that man down. I will dismantle him. A man that has the political structure of this kingdom in his power? If you go to war with him, you will not come out well. Mm. All right. We'll see what happens at the end of the day. If you go to war with him, it will not end well, oh. Why is this boy stubborn like this? Won't you have to see? such a stupid coward. Why fight me using another man? Why not come out in the open and confront me man to man? Oh no. What do you stand to achieve from what you have just done? Listen. My aim is to bring you down on your knees and have you beg for mercy. And in your head you think that you have me on my knees because you have touched something that is very important to my life. Oh no, I am going to teach you that a drowning man whose chi has not approved his death will always find something to hold on to. In the scheme of things in this kingdom, Obaka, you are nothing. No. Because of the kind of politics you are playing now, 
you are going to drown and you will not find anything to hold on to. By the time I am done dealing with you, you will come to the realization that depending on the position of the sun, that a dwarf can cast a tall shadow named Noah Ganya. You talk too much. If you want to shoot, go ahead and shoot. Stop talking. See me seated. I am waiting for you. Ah. You're waiting for me. When the time comes, I'll remind you that you are the one throwing stones from a glass house. <laughs> You'd hear from me soon. I am waiting for you to retaliate. Onyawa. <laughs> Kingdom politics is just the same thing with politics in real life. For there are men who are always doing everything humanly possible to bring the politician down. His ability to rise above all of them and remain important in politics is what makes him relevant in the scheme of things. When the custodian now tradition is against his own kingdom, for for to get the lead. You are not supposed to take a nasty decision on this matter. You cannot tell me what to do. You have no right to tell me what to do. That idiot has asked for trouble, and trouble I will give him. Okay, and um, <clears throat> how do you think you are going to win this? I am going to attack him. That's how. I'm going to attack him. Oh yes, I am going to attack him! Fantastic. Good plan. So, after the attack, what next? Nothing! Just nothing. Yes, nothing! Because I will not stop attacking him. I will keep attacking him until he goes down! And you think he will just fold his hands and watch you attack him endlessly? Um, 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 look, we don't need to go violent on the Uno. He what? has so much influence. Yes! In fact, I think we need to apologize to him. We need to reconcile with Excuse him. Excuse me? What influence? Listen, there'll be no reconciliation here. That man has asked for trouble. We are going to give him trouble. Why is it that you can never hear a word? Is your ear blocked? Do you need to clean it? Why can't you hear a word? Tell him. Why can't you listen to your sisters? Is it when the heat has become too much for you? You will run to me to give you advice. Uh, I will ignore you. I will never run to you. Mm. I will never run to you. This is my heat. I'm not going anywhere. I will stand here until I run that idiot down. If you want to not give me your support, then stay the hell away from me. God damn it. God damn it. Powerful. And you, won't you stop drinking? Stop. Get away. I hate that man's guts. I hate his guts. To think that he's not even denying it. He, he did not deny it. Valerie, I'm going to cut that man to size. Part of what I need to discuss with you. <laughs> do you remember ever doing anything to upset him? Nothing! What can I possibly do to know? Nothing! That man just hates me for no reason and he's not even hiding it. He is not hiding it. That is witchcraft! You did not give me. Oh, 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 is it? Are, are you really telling me you don't know what you did to me? Oh, Valerie, please. Please! What can I possibly do to him? Well, I don't, I don't, I mean, look, the only thing I remember is that some time ago, you know, Prince Obaka. Oh no. What are you doing here? Oh no, I greet you. I asked the question, Prince Obaka. What are you doing in my woman's house? And why are you sitting here so relaxed? As if you are the owner of this place. 
Oh no. We're not fighting. Eh? So please, relax. To your question, I think that you and I are here on the same mission. What? From observation, I think that you're not happy with the plate of meal that was dished to you this time around. Prince Ubaka, you have been eating from all the pots in this kingdom and even beyond. Unrestricted. Why must you motivate yourself to come and eat from this very only pot where I scoop from? Why? Oh no. You're a married man. You are a married man with children. You should retire. Eh? Don't you think that is wrong for a man of your caliber in this community to be having this kind of conversation with a bachelor like me? Uh, it's not right. I don't know, man. Mr. Bachelor, I want to give you one advice. You see, this pot here is the only pot I have. This is the only place I scoop from. Stay away from this pot. Oh, no. I'm not going to stay away from this pot. Whatever trouble that emanates from this pot is worth it. I am going to keep leaking this honey pot until I dry up its content. Oh, no. I go nowhere. I always knew that your major problem will come from the waste of women. And then once again, you are proving me right. What are you talking about? What was I supposed to do? Well, I saw a young lady. I liked her. She liked me too. We had fun. How was I to know that that was going to be a problem for some old man who should be retired? What? My fault now? You need to stop this and find a way to resolve this matter. And there's nothing to resolve. Ono has dragged me into the battlefield and war is what I'll give to him. Chinooko, wait. So, if people ask you now, what exactly is the problem? What does Ono want? What will you say? I'll tell them that Ono wants war. And I will give him war. Why can't you hear Ono? Well, I am back in my house. I have gone for the inspection. I have seen what they are constructing. And I am in a position to confirm to you that uh, what is on ground is nothing near the amount of money that young man had sent. And I am actually wondering why do men tell lots of lies? I don't know. Why? Yeah, I can continue. Over. <sighs> What are you doing in my house? And uh, why are you putting up this attitude before me? What is it? Oh no. I've been thinking. Do you realize that given the position that you occupy, you know, Mwenge? That if you manage to skin me out of the way, like you're trying very hard to do, that our people would suffer for it. Well, I can see you have nothing to say. I have an important thing. Uh, before you cut me, you know, I'd also like to tell you that my background does not allow me to speak ill of men in position of authority. But if pushed to the wall, oh no, we we'll also have the inclination to roar like a lion and cut just like a shark. Oh no. Is that what you want? Uh, should I remind you that the lion you referred to and the shark are actually hunted down for meat by men who have mastered how to deal with deadly animals. <laughs> you decided finally to throw your weight around my woman 
By that singular act, Obaka, you cripple yourself. Oh no. So you openly confirm that all of this drama is because of a woman. <laughs> How petty of you, oh no. And yet you parade yourself. Ask the owner who of whom I care. Well, you may call me Pithy or any name you may choose. I am not born. Yet. But those who know me know what I can do. But that singular move you made, you dug your grave and I'm going to bury you therein. I am a man who has the capacity to force pain to disappear. And if any man forces me to initiate the process of his disappearance, they disappear without a trace. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Oh no. I hope you know what would happen if I decide to face you squarely. What will happen? It will be war. Mm. I am certain that you wouldn't want that. Well, I give it to you that you are a man of war and I need you to know equally I am a man of war. So you bring it on. I am waiting. This is war, 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 hey, war of no moment, war of no moment, war, war, nobody wants to give up, and this is war. I'm the one that told you. And so? If he knows Zunko. You want him to start seeing me as a gossiper? Who cares? Papa, welcome. Papa, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? If what, can you go and get my food ready? Papa, I want to talk to you about something. Uh, whatever thing you want to say must have to wait until I've eaten. Ah, Papa, it can't wait, oh. It can't wait. What? <laughs> Papa, le let me get your food. Please do. No, no, what, what, what's the problem? Does it actually mean that I cannot come back to my house and enjoy a moment of peace? Papa, what did Prince Aka do to you for you to carry out such a wicked act against him? What did he do? What? You heard me. What did you just say to me? Where is this coming from? Good afternoon, princesses. Welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome, Annabelle. Thank you. Valerie! You fucking fight! Don't you! What are you here? Hmm? Valerie! I ask you again, what is your mission here? Valerie, stop. Do you mean you don't know her? Valerie, why did you do that now? She was a good Samaritan who told us Ezazus did. Mm. Oh, no, ma. 
Good Samaritan, I ask you again, what is your mission here? What do you want? Uh, I was just walking past and I decided to say hi. As what? As, as, as your friends? Your colleagues or what? So what? What exactly are we to you? Eh? So because of ordinary gossip that you came here to give, we will not hear what for you. You came into, you, you, were, you were smiling. You want to sit with us. If you sit with me, Valerie the sweet vine. In Valerie. That wala. Valerie. Leave the poor girl alone. I mean, she can come to the palace anytime she feels like. Because of small gossip. You will just open the door for her like this. Wow. Do you even know who she is? You don't even know her. Hey, 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 listen. I asked you before, and you have not given me an answer. What exactly is your mission here? Oh, 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 you, you cannot answer me. Valerie, you can't answer me. Valerie, just let her be. Eh? Just let her be. Okay, no problem. Listen, my eyes are on you. Do you understand? You better not try anything stupid because I. Valerie the sweet vine will deal with your fuck up. No sense. Why do you even have sense? Go. She's wild. Don't mind her, she's just drunk. Who is drunk? Who is drunk? Who is drunk? Respect yourself, fool. Respect yourself. Don't insult me. Another. I'll go have a seat, okay? Thank you. Please. But I think Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Singing don't worry About a thing Worry about a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Rise up this morning Smile with the rising sun Three little beds Beach by my doorstep Singing sweet songs Of melody pure and true Hello. Say it Stop the dance, we need to talk You say? We need to talk Why Una they like to stress me like this? like to stress me like this. So because you can't dance now, I cannot dance in peace. What was the meaning of what you did outside there? Why do you like behaving like a tout? <laughs> you know, it's like asking a goat why a goat behaves like a goat. Agreed, I'm a tout. Let me tout in peace. How can you even be dancing in the living room? Don't you know this is where important guests are being received? Guess no day in now. Baby girl cannot explore the living room. Is that what you're saying? Now leave me now. Don't now free me. Well, I... Eh? Let's be serious. What exactly do you want in life? As in what exactly I want in life? Yes, Valerie. What actually do you want with your life? Tell us. Wait, I'll tell you now. to explore life yes I, I want unlimited access to good refined and pure alcohol you know I, I, I want access to good music to explore good music I, I, I want a garden full of tomatoes and, and flowers and, and let me add I am not ready for men in my life yet is, is there any other answers you require are you... Does he mean you don't want to be serious with your life? For real, Valerie. When will you start behaving like a normal human being? Just look at you. The way you dress. You drink alcohol like it's water. You don't have plans for your future. You are not yet interested in men. Just tell me, 
Which man will be ever interested in a woman like you? So is it because the king does not come to me? You think he is happy with you? No. The old man is already tired of you. And you need to change. You need to change. So wait. You see, two of you now as you're standing here, you think you have sense. Or you think your future is, 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 is good? Eh? You should be worried about your future because my, my, my future is... Who day? Who day? My future is bright! My future is bright, trust me. And the king knows this. That's why he doesn't bother me. You, you get it? Valerie, mm -hmm. which dreams are you talking about? You mean you want to be waking up every day dressed like it's out? Drinking and listening to music? Is that what you call dreams? Oh, 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 you, you forgot to add singing. You know I enjoy singing, right? Excuse me. You think we're joking? Valerie, why have you chosen to waste away? So you call this my beautiful life, wasting away? You want me to live like both of you? I, I know now. Listen, girls, don't worry. Be happy. I mean, look at me, man. Valerie, the sweet vine. I have less worries and I'm happy. I mean, look at you now. All these things we're not aware for with you know they pain you. Can you can you breathe? Breathe, breathe. Don't touch me. Nekwagi, nekwagi no. You look at all these things you're wearing. It's not heavy. You know heavy for your neck. You rub all these things, rub all the, every day you wake up, you rub. Every day you wake up, you rub. You know the tire. Three little birds. Reach by my doorstep. I know everything. I know how you use Ezra to carry out your plan. That is not right. Papa, what do you stand to gain? It's not like you have a son that you want to take over the throne. Or did someone put you up to this? Yes. When did you start talking to me like this? Is it that somebody paid you to come and get me bad so I will enjoy my daughter? Papa, nobody paid me. I have not even said a word to anyone. But you know it yourself. That what you did is wrong. And I decided to say it. So, what you're confirming to me right now is that you still love that idiot even after everything? I don't know what you are talking about. Hey! I am telling you that what you did is wrong. You can punish me if you want. But you can never prevent me from saying the truth. Never. Now, Nifuwa, I want you to listen. If royalty is the reason you decided to give yourself cheaply to that idiot, then I am going to advise you here and now to start retracing your steps because royalty is going to depart from that family. And which family would the royalty go? Father? Which family will he go to? <laughs> How how did you even manage to become the Ono? Mm -hmm. When all you do is to initiate one problem in Umweke and sustain it Good. until okay. it becomes big. Initiate problem and sustain it. I think I like that your coinage. Now you are beginning to understand the kind of father you have. I am part of trouble, but they are the ones that will always start. Don't say anything you don't know. Come to think of it. Did you manage to know that I have something with the prince? <laughs> Oh no, who did you say? Oh no, I had a go. 
I am telling you, you are not allowed. Hey, God, God, God. See, your daughter just entered into the palace now with the prince. If you see the way the prince was rambling, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm telling you, you know, your daughter is causing my cough. That did do to my body. Yes, the idiot of a idiot took her into his room. I know, you know what that means. Once they enter the room, when they fall down, I pay what they like. Oh, your house will be cold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I will keep you posted. Idiot. Where, where did you spend the night? I, 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 I spent the night at, at a farmer's house. Yes, we, we didn't finish the learning on time. So I decided to sleep over there since one, I shouldn't come home late. So if I should go into my room now and bring out the ancient or delegate of our family and put it down here and I ask you to swear on it, that you spent the night in a farmer's house. You are going to swear? <laughs> Come on, Papa. Eh? Why do you always believe the worst things about me? Eh? Eh? No. Eh? I am your daughter. Mm -hmm. You don't have to intimidate me with all these ancient powers of the ancestors. Please. <laughs> If you were, I am the you know who I know everything. Even when you were lying, I know it. All the time you were sneaking out to go and be with that idiot in the palace. I decided to allow everything to continue because I was thinking maybe, maybe something good may start from there. But what did he do? He enjoyed the better part of the woman in my daughter and then he dumps her. And you think that I am going to allow sleeping dog to lie? Sleep. <laughs> but, 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 Papa, I, I... Hey, shut up. Shut up and do not ever try to stand before me and defend the indefensible. Nobody will ever take advantage of my daughter and abandon her. And for him to go all out and make you a part of that long list of the maidens of Umweka and even beyond that he has defied. Oh my goodness, I am going to destroy that young man. Udungakon. 
ana bi akpa ko ne ko ase na ona akpa no do mili okwe ta na chi anya papa what is the way forward we cannot continue like this umweke is paused as we speak and all hands point to my father. Eh, uh, who cares? That is not my business. The person who passed to work knows that he is the one that passed to work and not me. It is not going to be possible that somebody will defile my daughter and uh, will walk away. Because of what he did, eh, he must start planning on how to make you his wife. Thank you, God. Or, I am not just going to cripple him, I'm going to cripple his family. I don't want to I don't want to hear anything about this again. And how long will it take you girls to gain access into the palace and do exactly what I instructed you to do? Mama, good afternoon. Mama, good afternoon. Mama, good afternoon. I ask again. How long will it take you girls to gain access into the palace and do exactly what I instructed you to do? A very simple task. And it's taking you girls forever. Why? Mama, we are working on it. It's a work in progress. Shut up! Wait. Do you mean to tell me that all the money I have been spending on you girls is a waste? Huh? No, Mama. Mama, please be patient with us. We are trying to be strategic with our plans. We don't want this to be suspicious. Oh, shut up. Now, listen up. I'm giving you girls three days. Three days to produce results. Else, I will withdraw you girls and get capable hands to do my job. Read my lips. I am not bluffing. Calm down, Mama. We will get your job done. Shut up! <laughs> Father, are you seriously going to allow him to leave this house? Knowing that he can lose his temper at any minute. Look, you cannot catch a grown man like that. He has learned his lessons. And by the way, it's not as if he has been going about losing his temper in the past. Father, we cannot afford another mistake. Listen, allow the gods to do things their own way. We have tried. If the gods say he's not going to be king, there is nothing anybody can do about it. Father, are you the one saying this? Should we be the one reminding you of the implications? if he loses the throne. <sighs> Father, there is something you are not aware of. And I think it's high time we told you the truth. This whole thing is not ordinary. It did not just happen out of the blues. It was done by... Ezazu! Yes! Ezazu! And I am sure somebody made him do it. But not to worry. I will find out who did it? Hmm. <laughs> I am done with you girls. You can now leave. Oh no! Surprise, right? Of course, I am surprised. <sighs> so, are you going to ask me to leave like you did before? Oh no, no, no! Come in, come in, oh no, come in, sit down. Excuse me, sit down. You know, you are. No matter what happened, you are still my baby. At least in the bar, you na ugly no dinner. Or don't come. Now, at least you know the person who meant well for you, right? Oh no. Oh no, please let's not talk about that animal. 
that charlatan, that nonentity that parades himself as a noble prince. Please. You know, I am so delighted to see that the anger is very deep. It is nice to see that you have not forgotten. And that indeed you are seeking revenge. I like it. Oh no, I don't know what you're talking about. And I am not seeking any revenge. Mm -mm. You are not? Mm -mm. My source told me otherwise. <laughs> indeed, you are seeking revenge. You are planning this revenge night and day. And I have come to pledge my solidarity. In case you need my help along the line, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Oh, no. Hmm? Baby. <laughs> Let's forget about the prince, okay? Let's talk about us. You and I. You know, it's still very good to know that you still care for me. Hmm. And I missed you so, so much. You know what? Oh. Need I am not here for this. I am not here for this at all. Okay? I came here specifically for something very serious. I am not that kind of man. You see, there is no us. It ended a long time ago. I am not the kind of man who will want to continue doing anything with you after the prince has dumped you. He did not dump me. I did the dumping. I didn't like the way the relationship was going, so I had to dump him. I mean, he, he, he never treated me the, the way you did. <laughs> you are actually whipping up sentiments to weaken me, right? I am not one of those men they weaken with sentiments. Let me tell you something. There is no us. It ended a long time ago. I want to maintain only one relationship with you and that is business. I know what you want. And I am telling you that I am ready to help you. So if you need my help along the line, you know how to reach me. So you may continue drinking your alcohol. I am taking my leave. Baby. Baby, you don't. Oh no. Oh uh, uh, baby. Oh no, no. You know we can always iron things out. Huh? We can. Baby. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. It's me. And it is me. Oh no. Oh no, we oh no oh no we can't Oh no the grass resolved be no peace for the community He left You still haven't told me why you caught me short. I know you dragged me here. Look, we are not going to tell father about Onowo's involvement on this until we find out why he did it and the remedy. And why is that? The king needs to know about it. He needs to know the kind of man he is. In case you do not know, Onowu is a very powerful man in this land. And the king cannot fight him without rolling himself in the mud. He may pull some strings and everything will go south for us. Let him keep being friends with father. Don't you get? That man might do something stupid and everything will go wrong. I still don't understand this analysis of yours. But I insist we tell father about this. I know you do not understand. But not now. Just give me some time. Let me figure out something. Just some time. Ah! 
Ha! Ha! The green snake on top of a very big green tree. You're here. The privileged sword of a good king who has refused to take advantage of the privilege at his disposal. How are you today? Does the king know that the snake that he fed has grown so big and it's about to swallow him? A wolf and a lion are animals of the same carnivorous inclination. Why would one of them sit in judgment over the other? Ah. Oh no, who? <laughs> ah. To you, I'm a weakling. And I've been overrun by you. Right? You know, I am I am waiting for you to retaliate. Because I know it is boiling right on the inside of you to do something against this man that is standing here. I don't know why you are not doing that. But let me tell you something. The men in my class are always expecting the bullet. Oh no. I am not a man of bullets. I am giving you time to undo that which you have done. Oh no! Oh no, we will be a man of ya. Oh no, we will be a man of ya. Oh no, we Time is running out. You know, when I make some things disappear, they remain buried. Forever. I know that it is violent right on the inside of you. You want to do something against this man that is standing here. I don't know why you are not doing that. I hate child's play. Why are you not rising as a man and do things the way men do them? You want to shoot, shoot. Don't talk. Oh no. Ma kwa no mo apa your message is well taken. You shall hear from me. Abalusi angene kulungene ngwa we depend on the people balolo dingene. This is why. Me kui ke ya lasha ya la. Since you have decided to wait, allow me to offer you something to drink <laughs> at least. <laughs> Don't offer us anything, and please don't patronize us. My father is back. Oh. He will soon be here. Oh, better. Good. Come on, come on. Wait you Why would you really stand there before I pour this guy in your eyes? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What are the princesses of my land doing in my house? Oh no. Welcome, bros. No vex. I just want to ask you one question. Please. Why is it that you're doing this thing you're doing? If someone does this thing to you, how would you feel? Now, how do you think the king will feel knowing you are the one behind all of this? Again, how do you think he will feel knowing that the one who he calls friend and Hi, Larry. Hey, 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 it's okay. Don't say anything. Both of you. Back to your room. Papa. Papa. I said you should go back to your room. Come back to the room. Valerie, you said you have just one question to ask. But that is not why we are here. Oh no. We want to find out what you stand to gain in all this. And who put you up to this? Hey! Stop. I consider this as an insult for you to sit in my in my living room to allege that somebody has put me up to anything. How can you say a thing like that? Listen, I, I don't understand what is going on here. 
Ono, I am actually confused. Ono, are you denying you're not the one that sent Ezazo to provoke the prince? He's not denying it. He just does not want it to come out from his mouth that he is the one betraying the king and he's trying to take away the throne from the royal family. What I don't understand is why? Hey, listen. I am the only who of this kingdom and there is no way I will allow myself to be reduced to the level where I will be talking like women. I am going to tell you what you will do. When you get back to the palace, sit your brother down and find out from him why he will defile the daughter of the Onuwu and abandon her. Of all the women in Umueke and even beyond, he settled for my daughter as the one I hear this year. What happened? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, Onuwu. Are you trying to say that my brother slept with your daughter and and and, 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 and we thought it was your other one? Oh no, your daughter is an adult. I am sure she was not raped. There are two adults ah. that... Oh, oh God, my God. Hey, one would like to scatter things like this now. Hey, clearly that's not important. Hey, oh no, trust me, how far? What can we do to atone for this? <laughs> you know, I am, I am actually happy. To hear you use the word atone, because it is clear you understand that what he did is an abomination that requires atonement. To atone for this, the prince must marry my daughter whom he defied, or he will not ever emerge king in the Mecca kingdom. Hey! This is why. Without me, no one. I think it's why you give shit for this thing. Please, do not mix me up in these shit that you are talking about. I don't want to be involved in nonsense that you could have done with your lives. What is the what's the meaning of this now? Valerie, are you okay? Please don't even allow me to get angry with you. What is wrong with you? What is wrong? Huh? What's going on there? We went to see Diolo. In fact, we're just coming from his house. Trust me, my brother. All is not well at all. What? What happened? Oh. Hey? What's all this now? People should leave this place. Why are we discussing fornication in this kind of place now? Listen, I'm more interested in knowing why you all went to visit Ono. What for? You. you see what I told you? Eh? There's no need. They wish you would have done what we did. Uh, listen, Prince. This is not the time for you to display your ego. We went to see the Ono and he told us everything that happened. In fact, he told us what to do. And it's very easy. Mm. You know what? Uh, the agenda to go visit the Ono was not approved by me. So I really do not care what he says. I won't be a part of it. Please. I do not know if you realize the extent of what is happening. I want you to listen to him and do whatever he asks you to. I'm not, no, well, I'm not listening to this rubbish. Hey! Have you people seen the work I'm doing here now? After you pour water in my kai kai. Why are you so inconsistent, Valerie? Valerie! Why are you so inconsistent? You know what? Get off my way. Move! Else I would have to push you. Push me? I will push you. Okay. Listen, if he pushes me and I fall down, rush to Mwada, tell them what happened. Because I will stay on the ground until he buys me a big fat cow. Push me. <sighs> oh. 
Okay. What did they say? <laughs> now you have come like somebody who can hear word. <laughs> who wants problems with Umada? Nobody. Now listen. Do you all know who said you defiled his daughter? So you must marry her. Uh -huh. What? I would have to what? What is? Is that what? It, I know. What, is that what you meant? Mm. That's a joke. No, I, would, I won't do it. Mm. Never. Mm. I know. Get out of my way. Uh, yes, yes. Of course, the message has been delivered to the one with the golden crown. So you can go. Well, the prince, you have to marry his daughter. You don't have a choice. Next time, if I see water in my kai kai container, on the allegation that I'm not doing anything, you see what I'll do to you people. Don't let me stand here. Protect you. She says she's looking for Valerie. Good afternoon, my paintings. Good afternoon. Your crystal, right? Yes, my paintings. The one that wants to upgrade Valerie. Exactly, my paintings. Mm. Choma. Yes, my princess. Go upstairs and call Valerie. Okay, my princess. Tell her that she come down fast. That is important. All right, my princess. Thank you very much, my princess. Don't worry. She you are a darling. <laughs> I, I should hurry up. I like the food I was eating. What's going on? Yes, this is Christabel and she's here to see you. Oh, Christabel. Yes. The one that wants to upgrade me. Yes. Oh, so nice to <laughs> finally see you. You're such a nice girl. In fact, you're the nicest person in this village. How oh, you deserve a hug. Come, darling. Sure. Come, come, come. Come on. Valerie, Valerie, I am done with the place. I watched everything. I wanted to tell you that I want to go home. Oh no, 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 no. Don't go yet, eh? Go to the backyard. You see where the maidens are? Go there, wash all the pots and pans that we left there. What? No, 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 don't worry, go. You will do anything for us now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Chop, 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 chop. Let's go, let's go, yeah. That way. Okay, good. Prince Ubaka, I don't know why you are here. I have already left the palace where you threw me out and refuse to allow me to take my things. So why are you still coming to my house? Huh? So you're this cheap, Ezazu? Because of a car. A car. Because of a car, you threw away everything. Everything, Ezazu. Everything. You chose to betray the confidence that the royal family reposed in you because of our car. This is disappointing. Respect yourself. You don't talk to me like that. I am your senior. You don't have the right to be talking to me rudely. You do not. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me ask you a question. If you are the one they promised um, timber market chairmanship and a car, hmm. will you resist it? No, 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 no. I'm asking you, will I, I'll, I'll ask you, cheap. will you resist it? I don't know why you, you, you are making it appear as if I am a demon. Huh? I am taking advantage of a situation. So if you have any job we you want to hire me for a job <laughs> feel free to talk to me i will do it as provided mm. yes <laughs> mm. Mm. your values are really questionable 
Your words have shown how shallow minded you are. Do you realize that you're standing before the Prince of Omweke? Ono tells you that he can guarantee you the position of the chairman of Timber Market without me. And you believe him? How? Can you not see that you're stupid? We thought. You will do a tough say that to me. I not pull See you at my house. Don't provoke me. Come up in Sagala. Okay, fine. Uh, you are the prince, uh, Prince Obaka. With due respect, Prince Obaka. Do not get involved in the politics of the timber market. Because the people you already taking advantage of their sisters will kill you. They will destroy you. I have plenty of bubble. They will destroy you with the king without timber market. In Apollo. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've come to you as someone who used to call me brother and respect me. To tell you to stay away from the looming fire that is about to raise down my enemies so that you will not be born. You idiot! Stay away from this. You idiot! I've said that to me! Come on! I reject that in Jesus' name. If there's anybody that is going to burn, it is you. It is you. Because you are the one setting fire on, on, on all the ways of the beautiful medicine we have in this kingdom. So if there's anyone that is going to be born here, oh, come on. But just say about what? If you still stand here, mega. You can hear? I am your senior leader. Hey, I'm a goofy idiot. Look at this idiot. If I don't know, I say back to my car. Let me see. Let me warn you. See, I, I have four new boxers in that palace. If I find out that your sisters have they're taking advantage of that bosses. Moon, moon, daja. Idiot. Where are you going? Come back here now, 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 now. Come, 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 come. Now, come back now. I don't want to go back in there. Go. Idiot. But oh, 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 I have to tell you that Ezeazu is not your problem. Hey, why can't you just forget about him and face the elephant that we already know? I am facing that elephant quite all right. Valerie, I am facing that elephant. I am just surprised at the extent that man can go. Can you imagine? He promised Ezeazu chairmanship of the timber, chairmanship of the timber market. Can you believe that? That's not Ono is asking for trouble. I am going to touch Ono in the center of his crook. That man is prepared for He's you. He's looking for trouble. Calm down, calm down, calm down. That man is prepared for you. I know. <laughs> he has been preparing for you for a long time. We will see. But my brother, you have to find ways to make peace with him. How? Just how? Marry his daughter if you must. What? Yes. Never. That whore. No way. I won't do it. I'd never do it. You know that I wanted to take her seriously? Of course. You know me. I was going to take her seriously until I started hearing stories of, of her escapades with men. I am not going to be with a woman who cannot sit at a place. No, I can't do that. That's not the way out of this whole situation. I won't do it. Mm. Oh, no, is a tough nut to crackle. <laughs> He's a tough nut. He's a tough nut. So you think? You know your problem? 
Valerie, you know your problem. You undermine me. You know why you see me as that young man who you've known all your life. But I'm going to prove to all of you that things are not always the way they look. Oh no. You should wait for me. Can you just calm down? Can you calm down and explain to me exactly what is going on there? Uh, that is not possible. Listen, I have been the one handling that issue all these years. Every single document that relates to that is in my office. Government has no reason to get involved. Is that, no, 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 they cannot get involved. Uh, do you know what? I am coming there now. I don't know the reason you, you came out and attempted to pick my call. Don't try it again. If you see my phone ringing, let it be missed call. Don't pick my call. There is something he's hiding from me. Why must I have a father who is determined in destroying the land? <sighs> Greetings, Oh no, that's the castle. Oh no, I greet you all. Oh no, please sit. We received bad news about the timber market. I am sure you must have heard. So tell us, what is going on? Oh yes, it came as a surprise to me as well. And um, I tried everything to ensure that the timber market is allowed to continue where it has always been. And um, it has not happened yet. Oh yes, it has not happened, but I, I am still on it. I'll tell you what has happened, oh no. Uh, what has happened is a glaring sign of incompetence, oh no. Uh, signaling to the fact that you can no longer handle the timber market. My prince, you don't need to go far. The answer is obvious. There is no way Ono can convincingly tell us, the whole of us sitting down here, that he's on top of the matters of the timber market with all dexterity according to him. That government will plan to use the place for something else and relocate the market somewhere without him being aware. I'm on top of it. <laughs> Listen, what happened is um, a kind of new development in government. And we all know that government is wired in a way that they are always changing their policies. I am already investigating to find out exactly what went wrong why they will suddenly become interested in our team so, market. So, oh no, are you saying that you were not told that there is nothing we can do about it or we are just allowed the government to take the land just like that? Uh, I was not told, Your Majesty. They just acted on their own, decided to have interest in our timber market. And I am asking relevant questions. The only thing is that I don't have answers yet. But I will find the answers. Um, <clears throat> uh, my king. Uh, my orders, please. <clears throat> if you all would agree with me, it is very clear that Ono can no longer 
handle it in my market. Okay, granted, we allowed him to handle it because at the time, he was qualified to handle it. But see what we're dealing with. And it is very obvious that this one is bigger than him. Mm -hmm. So I am suggesting, in the interest of time, in the interest of time, that we find someone who is capable enough to handle the timber market. Not just that, stop the government from possessing our timber market. That's my take. Exactly. Where is spoken man? That market is the pride of women. Exactly. Imagine a market that generates well over 50 million every month, every month. As a matter of fact, I see government must not be allowed close to it. Therefore, Your Majesty, we need someone who can help us pull it through. And that is my position. And there is no other person in this kingdom who can do that. Even at the moment. I have been the only person in charge of running that market for years now. This one just came up. And I am telling this body that I am going to fix this. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, please now, please. Oh, please. Please what? Oh, please. This is a matter of general interest. Stop being selfish. Huh? How do you intend to fix this? By way. Do you even know the source of the problem? You don't know. Uh, My other okay. For years, we know who has been doing this. He should be allowed to do this. Hmm? To be Chief Ibozulu, what are you talking about? I don't know. If only he would be in that market and the carpet would be pulled under him without him knowing it. Hmm? Do you know what will happen next? No, tell him. We don't have that chance for trial and error, my king. I suggest that the prince should handle this situation for us. Let Why him fix this problem for us. But, prince, can you? Oh, yes. The prince, can you? Oh, yes, father. Um... <clears throat> I can handle the timber market. I can fix this problem. I know who to call, who to contact, and it will be taken care of. Okay. So fix this problem, and um, we will be in charge of this timber market from now on. Thank you, Father. No. <laughs> ha! How the mind is falling every day. I am sure that you're familiar with the story of two mice that fell into a bucket of cream. The first one gave up and died. But the second one, the second one continued to struggle and work, continued to work until it churned that cream into butter and crawled out. Oh no, I am hoping that you are not going to end up like the first mouse, for this game has only just begun. Ubaka, mm? <laughs> a wise man does not make noise about his victory because he might mistakenly reveal the source of his power. Mm. <laughs> you connive with those men to pull this stunt, and you believe you have crippled me. <laughs> but I am going to prove to you, Baka, that I am not just a man dealing in timber. I am a man of timber. And I am a man of caliber. Oh no, I can understand why you suddenly decided to come after me. I get it. But I am here. You and I can have an understanding on this matter. I am never going to marry your daughter. I need you to get that out of your head. Says the one who is crippled already. The one who has no choice. Ubaka, you have no choice in this for you are going to marry Ifua, my daughter. Ah, oh no. You know you claim to be a strong man of whom we can. Yeah, it's a dream like an infant. Your daughter, 
proved not to be wife material and we ended things. But you, trying to use your position as the owner of all of this land to break me and ship to me a woman who is not wife material will be your greatest undoing. Have a nice day. Hold it right there! By using the instrumentality of government to unseat a man like me from the position I have occupied over the years, something in you tells you that you have crippled me. You have not. Listen to me. That is the biggest mistake of your life. And I am going to make you pay. And I am going to pay. Oh no. For that money will be used to purchase your coffin. For I am going to bury you. Obaka. Obaka. I say it in a bunny with Dom Millie. You wet it. Oh yes. Why are you here? Well, uh, uh, Your Majesty, I I came with the combination of uh, good news and uh, and bad news mm. in connection with our timber market. Okay. In fact, I have called everybody who ought to be called mm. in the government house. I mean, the high and the mighty. In fact, Your Majesty, I spoke with the senior special assistant to the governor on special projects. And he confirmed to me that uh, indeed, there is nothing anybody can do about it because it is a project very, very special to the government. In fact, he told me that the governor signed it himself. And uh, on that note, as you can see, I have uh, tried everything possible to salvage the situation. But it is not uh, my fault. I, that is it. That's a very serious bad news, Your Majesty, if you, if you will agree with me. Yes, I agree with you. But it's okay. It's okay, I know. Um, at least you have tried your best. Uh, nobody blamed you for what happened. Now we know that uh, it is beyond you. No, no, Your Majesty. <laughs> Don't put it that way to make it very personal to me. It is not just beyond me. It is beyond everybody. Because there is nobody who can do anything about this. In fact, it is already seen by the government, as I said already. And on that note, I now present the good news. Uh, I am saying that uh, there is nobody in this kingdom who can manage the timber market more than myself. I've done it over the years. So I am saying that uh, you should uh, issue a royal declaration that I am the one who is still managing the market. The market is very safe in my hands, Your Majesty. Oh, oh no, you know we agreed that if the prince can get the timber market to us, that he will be in charge afterwards. Yeah, but now that it has been established that he cannot, uh, the ideal thing is to allow me to continue from where I stopped. Uh, but on the contrary, oh no, he did it. How? The government is no longer taking over the market. What? Now I was to call you to, you know, ask you to transfer everything over to him. But now that you are here, I have uh, seized this opportunity to brief you on the project. Prince Upaka is now in charge of our timber market. Hey. Onyekoma. Don't you think it's high time we spoke to the king about this? He might not be happy if he finds out from someone else. Don't you think if the king knew about this and confronted Ono earlier, don't you think it would have affected what happened to the prince? And Ono will not only plan against the prince, but also the king. Keeping this away from the king will not help either. He needs to know who he's dealing with, so he will know how to handle him. I know, but this is not the time. When the time is right, we'll talk to him, but not now. Come on. 
Yeah, oh no, you know that um, the Eze in council, and indeed the kingmakers will still have to vote to ratify uh, the prince as the chairman of the timber market. I am hereby soliciting for your support. Would you work against my son? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. How can you ask that? What are friends for? Of course, we are always working together. Uh, but the issue here is that the prince must have to remain without a scandal until the last day. If he manages to do that, leave the rest to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I know I can always count on you. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, there, there has been series and series of complaints from the members of the Eze Council and uh, even the body of kingmakers against the prince on how he has been maltreating the workers that are working in the royal company, people from our kingdom. And they are, they are suggesting that uh, the prince should have to be removed from that position as punishment for him, for undermining members of the, of the land who are working under him. No, I don't understand. Do they mean that I should replace him? Well, that is on the direct note. If you understand it that way, it is still in order. What they are saying is that uh, you are allowing the prince to operate freely, without any remorse, despite what he committed. Uh, Your Majesty, when you remove him from the management, of the royal company, it will make him to understand that all negative actions have consequences. Even then, that's a joke. You may go to bed. You got that? There's a problem. Ono is advising the king to take the company from the prince. That the workers are complaining on how he maltreats them. The elders and council are also complaining on how the king turns deaf ear to the prince's excesses. I think we need to talk to the prince about this. I mean, what is wrong with that Ono? What does he really want? I think his high time will hurt him. And that time is right now. That man is really out to destroy the prince. Don't worry. Oh, father, you cannot do this to me, father. You can't do this to me, father. You don't, you don't allow those elders tell you how to run your company. But you don't even have the power to tell me what to do or what not to do. But I'm your son, father. Yes, I know about I have the power to say the things that you cannot see. These people do not care about you. All they want to do is make you dry. Listen, my son. It doesn't care. You know, it doesn't matter who cares or not, or if they care or not. What matters here is you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What matters here is you. Are you willing to sacrifice so that we don't lose this throne? If you put your acts together, we don't have any reason to seek for anyone's favor. I have my acts together. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I hope you know why you're here. I, I am still waiting to be told. Do you like my brother? And do you wish to marry him? Please. I am not in support of what my father is doing. Yes. I went down with the prince. But he must not marry me because of that. I already told my father that. You do not want to marry the prince or you don't like the way your father is handling it. Who doesn't want to end up with the prince? 
Have you seen your brother? He is tall and handsome. I like him a lot. Hmm. But I found out that he doesn't feel the same way about me. I had to let him go. I hold nothing against him. Nothing. But your father is insisting that you must marry the prince. What do you have to say about that? I will not marry a man who does not want to marry me. I can only accept to marry the prince if he feels the same way. Can you convince your father to change his mind? I have tried. Oh, my father, I have tried. But he refused to listen to me. That means the marriage must happen. Ladies, please. I am meditating. Leave me alone. I beg. Valerie, we are here to talk to you about something that is more important than what you're doing right now. Well, there's nothing more important than my peace of mind. We need you to speak to Baka. You know he listens to you more. Listens to who more? <laughs> Listen. Upaka Nagba Nudumili only listens to himself. That we hang out more does not mean that he listens to me more. Please leave me alone. Look, Valerie. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you just have to do it. You must speak to Obaka to marry Onowu's daughter. Yes, speak to him so that all these things can stop. Do you honestly think I haven't tried? I did, and he said never. And he has a point. What point? Please, stop trying to twist this whole thing for everyone. Just find a way to convince him. Okay, if it was that easy, why haven't both of you gone to do it? Every time Valerie do this, Valerie do that. may be beautiful and classy, but she's already ranked amongst the very used girls in this village. Now, if Prince Upaka already sees her as that, it would be most unfair for anyone to insist that I convince him to marry her. Now, please, leave me alone. I need to meditate. Please, please, this is a rare moment. Greeting is not from a place of love, right? Please, my princess. That who is your princess? They're calling me princess. Why? We know this greeting is not from a place of love. So what are you doing here? I came to see Princess Ogamaka. You came to see Princess Ogamaka? Yes. Listen, I can see through you. And I know your game plan. Uh, I know you don't like the princess, but I will pretend to like you. But rest assured that I am watching your every move. I have good intentions. I, I am not a bad person. You have good intentions, right? Very soon I will see you sneaking into the prince's room, just like Amanda, that one that came here saying she wants to be my friend. Well, I'm not here for the prince. You are not here for the prince? No, 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 it's okay. It's not for you to tell me, it is for me to find out. And don't worry, I have my ways. <laughs> Open sesame. Thank you. Thank you too.
back to that palace again. I am not going back there. Can you imagine that stupid Valeria has turned me into a house girl? I am not going back there. Oh. Hmm. Mama, that girl is a pain in the heart. Like, like someone with some mystical power or something. She just makes everything difficult. I nearly gained access to the prince, but she spoiled everything. I can see that that Valerie girl is now our problem. But you know what? We have to devise a means to get her out of the way. How is that even possible? Oh, my dear, listen up. I will give you girls something. Something to just take her out of the way so that we can achieve our aim. Something like what? Something to put in her drink. Or her food, whatever she eats. I mean, so that she can just fizzle off. Papa! 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 What is it? Papa! Hey, what, what, what is it? As I was coming back from the market, I saw tractors, bulldozers, and plenty soldiers. On our land by the roadside. Which land? Which land? They want the community to give to you. Did you finally sell it and you didn't, and you didn't tell me? Sell to who? You saw good, good, results, good results on my own land? Yes. Take back, I can sell. What I'm telling you now, everything is taken care of. I can assure you. Okay. Your Majesty, why are you doing this to me? How can you take the only piece of land, the only reasonable land I have remaining in this kingdom? How can you take it? No, I am confused. What are you talking about? Your Majesty, I was at home when my daughter ran back to tell me that she saw bulldozers, payloaders, and tippers on my land. I thought she was joking. And I went there myself, actually to meet them on my land, clearing the land for the project. They said that is where the project is taking place now. And I asked them, how? How is that possible? They said to come and meet you. W what is going on? No, 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 I, I am confused. But we have a plot of land for that project. Exactly. So there must be a mix-up somewhere. But just calm down. Calm down. I'll talk to my son. Your Majesty, we need to trace that mix-up. There is a land that we are located for this developmental project. Why are they clearing my own land? Hello, don't worry. Don't worry, that's what I'm saying. Let me talk to my son first. It's a mix-up and it will be sorted out. Your, your Majesty, please, you have to start talking to your son. If possible, start talking with him now. Because I cannot sleep knowing full well that my land may just go. I don't want them to start putting anything on that land. I don't want stories. Don't worry, they will not do that. Let me call me. Let me talk to my son. Let me talk to the prince. Can you imagine the king asking me to leave and allow him to talk with his son? Can you imagine? Could he not have called the young man before you ride him? He did. He called him four times and he did not pick. That idiot who is digging his own grave saw his father's 
calls four times and did not pick any of them. Oni vro ni vro na ivo 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 na 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 all the comedy one ah oh bacha anya so what are you going to do now and uh, what did the king say after that he practically said nothing can you imagine the king asking me that I should go and allow him figure out a way to discuss with his son these people are dealing with the wrong person because I am not going to allow them to take that land it's not possible can't we gather the youth and force them to stop working on your land till this matter is resolved beautiful idea. Something I already thought of, but then again, I went to the land and discovered that uh, the land was uh, is, is actually surrounded by heavily armed soldiers. Give me watch over my own land. I, I just I discovered that sending the use that place would be an act of sending them on suicide mission. I, I, I don't understand what is going on. I don't understand what is going on. This is serious. Uh, I I hope this was not premeditated. And. Uh, I just hope there may be a mistake somewhere which can be resolved tomorrow and you have your land back. I, I hope so. It was the I hope so. How can they do how can they do this? How can they tamper with the only sizable land I have remaining in this kingdom? A land that I'm waiting for the land to appreciate so that I can sell, sell it billions. Hmm. That is the land they are tampering with. I think somebody should be able to talk to them. Because if I lose that land, the, the whole of home will we go up in flames. No, it will not. No, get they, to they, that. they will need to understand that it's not everybody. Every land, every land they see that they will enter. It will not get to that. Oh no! Uh, uh, get... On the condition that you have to find a way to talk to them. Uh, Let them leave my land alone. Not... You must have the land back. You must have the land. There is a babe in the palace. She said her name is Modelo, and she's here to see you. Okay. Um, Dad said he's been calling you and you're avoiding his calls. Uh, you know why he's calling? That is still not enough reason for you not to take the call. Okay, if you say so, I'll tell him. All right. How harmful are you? How do you mean? I'm here on the princess's invitation. So why do you think I'm harmful? Hmm. Is this the Sherry Coco that calls herself a model? Why are you here, madam? Did we tell you that we have openings for models here? I don't understand all this. I'm here on the princess's invitation. He invited me here and your sister, the princess here, has already called him to confirm. So why the embarrassment here? Okay, so I think I've been very playful with you. By the time I go inside and come back out, <laughs> you will understand what embarrassment is. Wait, come. And this is why why of noble men why yeah nobody want to give up you drew the battle line you and I started the fight she she left already should have waited for me now uh, but hold on sis how do you do all this? I mean, when you are planning something, you act like you're not part of the plan. And the next minute you will execute the plans, even more than us that did the planning. So how do you do it? Well, that's why I'm called Valerie. I act. Long talk maybe for me. At all. I think this is when you need a high five. <laughs> okay, 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 like this. <laughs> Can you explain to me why there are caterpillars and um, bulldozers on Onowu's land? And by the way, why weren't you picking your calls? Oh, that I was in a meeting. Sorry, my phone was on silent. Okay. Now the workers, what are they doing on Onowu's land? There was a land earmarked for that project, and all effort to get them out of that property failed. You know, failed. What happened? 
Uh, well, Dad, um, truth be told, there was a slight issue with the land uh, mapped out for the project. So I took the initiative to quickly um, run to the community land and use that for the, the, the project. I have nothing whatsoever to do with Ono's land. But that community land in question, the land you talked about, now belongs to Ono. It was given to him when he became the Ono of the land. You don't say. Oh my, I did not know that. I had no, I, I had no idea that, that, that really that land belongs to Ono. I didn't know that. Well, now that you know, uh, can you get those workers off the land? What did you say, Dad? Now that you are aware that that land belongs to Ono, will you get the workers out of the land? Dad, the project is already underway. It's it's ongoing. Okay, Nako. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. Um, I cannot call my men back. I cannot stop them from working on the land. Why? As we speak, oh no, we have spent over 13 million naira on that land. And you see, the other piece of land uh, that you're suggesting that we let go, we also cannot do that because we found out that there is a problem with that piece of land after necessary tests, of course. Uh, oh no. And something in you is telling you that I'm going to buy this cock and bull fabrication of yours? Obaga, I know you are doing all this simply to get at me. And that is why you littered everywhere with armed military officers. I'm going to ask you just one question and I want you to answer me. And if you are required to jump, how far do you think you can jump? Oh no. Ah. Oh no. I have not come here to make trouble with you, but I see that you want us to deal with this man to man. To answer your question, I will only jump as high as I need to jump. Oh no. Undo that which you have done, else you will continue to face more war. So mad at Chago constantly. <laughs> you know, I I told you this before, mm. and I'm going to tell you that one more time. If I am forced to make anything disappear, that thing remains buried forever. Mm. There is only one way to solve this problem. Marry my daughter. And you can be sure you are the next king of Umweke Kingdom. I like you. <laughs> I like you more. You know why? You think that you're smart. You think that you have got something on me. But you also know that I am holding you by the balls. Oh no! Let it be as you have said. Let all men continue to work. And at the end of the day, We'll see who gives in. Huh? God. He is now taking more than required. And we are going to dance in the open. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know you were this funny. Am I? Yeah. Are you what? serious? <laughs> yes. That's good. You know what? What? I've never laughed like this before. And you're the type of man that I need in my life right now. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought you said you don't like light skinned men. <laughs> well, suddenly you're an you exception. like. I'm an exception. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what? That will be your lot very soon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? what? Um, why don't you just take me to your room right now? This hot afternoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it will be hot and spicy. Yeah, ask him for trouble. <laughs> Juquez. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting this. You're certain that this is what you want for real? Of course. Uh. Hold on. Any lady who is 
opportune to be with an authority like you. Mm -hmm. I mean, an intimidating personality. Yes. Would do nothing but one thing. Mm -hmm. Keep pretenses aside. Yes. And say nothing but the truth. Hey, are you the one speaking or is something speaking from your mouth? <laughs> 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 oh, and she calls me princess. Are you a moron or what? Hogan. Don't, don't, don't do what? What am I doing here that I am not supposed to be doing? Can you not see her eyes? <laughs> are those eyes not like Delilah's eyes? Does it look like something to you? Valerie, you don't have to do that. Oh, I was just chatting with the prince. We were chatting. Oh, uh, come down. We were chatting. Valerie, I don't have energy now for trouble. I'm, I'm tired. Valerie, Valerie. Father, we were just chatting. You were chatting? Yes. Just chatting. You were chatting? Yes. So, because you were chatting, I should leave? But, well, I have a guest. Just give me some time. Hey. Yes, just leave. By the time she's gone. If I just leave, you, 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 you will get out of here. Follow me now, stop. Will you, will you get out of here? Please now. Before I deal with you. Follow me, it's okay. Please, I'll go. Just don't hurt me. Hey, we'll wait there. I'm not bad, girls. My sweetheart. My prince. Eh, calm down. Calm down. Calm. Excuse me. I want to have a conversation. Huh? Uh, well, I should leave. Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> no, that's not possible. Yeah? I am still here and see what you have done to her already. I want to repair her part of man. No, 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 no. I'm not doing anything to her. I just want to share my drink with her. It, it, uh, 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 Valerie, Valerie, just Valerie, small. Valerie. 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 Jesus. <clears throat> Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, what did you say you want us to talk about? Uh, relax now. Are you in a hurry to go somewhere? Uh, not really. I am just curious. Plus, I have to go home. I, I have to go and find something to eat. I'm very hungry. Food. Yeah. <sighs> you see in this palace. There is no food you are looking for you won't find here. Let me tell you something. Anytime I feel like killing myself like this, if I remember the food here, <laughs> my sister, I changed my mind. <laughs> the food is nice. Oh, oh, very nice. You are very funny. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Um, can I have a glass of juice? I'm, I'm very thirsty. Juice? Yes. Juice? Mm. Wait. We'll bring it for you now. Really? Ah, wait now, let me call ah, the maid. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I like the freshness of the juice. <laughs> You guys are enjoying here. I told you. Whenever I want to kill myself like this, I just remember everything. I won't die again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, she didn't give you ice? No. I told her to bring ice. She said she did not ask for ice. I even told her to come and ask you. And she came back with a reply that she said no. Mm, don't mind her. Go back there and ask her to give me ice. I need ice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, wait. Mm. <laughs> it's very sweet. Hey, Valerie, I'm happy that you now agree that I'm a friend. Of course. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> okay, this way. I'll go. Yeah, that way. in that kitchen. Uh, uh, are you serious? It's okay. 
I'll, I'll manage it like this. Okay. Thank you. Valerie, you're an astounding woman. Thank you. Very wonderful. Thank you. I like you already. <laughs> This is the original thing, yes. This is a rat race. Oh, what a rat race. This is a rat race. Rat race. Rat race. Rat race. What is going on here? Is this not the person the prince has been acting after? And why is she even sleeping? My sister, do not bother yourself. For if you call her from now till next day, she won't answer. She's on a brief visit to her ancestors. Valerie, what have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? I only gave her a taste of her own medicine. He will soon be here, and everything will be taken care of. Only as I am calm, as you can see. But it is so clear that the one who has been undermining my leniency in this kingdom has now decided to take a walk on my scrotum. Oh, the come back at it. I have been discussing with Onowu here. Mm. He wants to take over the previous land since the project is going on on the current one. So I want you to make every arrangement to make that happen. Uh, I'm sorry, Father. Uh, that will not be possible. What do you mean by that won't be possible? What kind of nonsense are you saying before the king? I don't know. Why would you say it like that? How can you? Onowu, you are sitting before the king of our land. Watch your language, read your tongue, and comport yourself. Look, my son, Father, please tell me, why is it not possible? Well, Father, as we all know in this community, that um, project is very close to our hearts. And that is why we have all worked very hard over time and made a lot of sacrifices to, to ensure that it comes to fruition. Um, to be honest with you, Father, I had wanted to give the said land to him until I got a report that made me change my mind. What useless report are you talking about? I don't... What's the problem? Father, um, like I said, I had wanted to give the said land to him, but my men um, came back to me after proper... Um, survey and told me that um, the land we're working on at the moment will not be enough for the project given the size of the project. So we would um, be using both lands for the project. Oh yes, the same land he told me that failed the test that they conducted. I, I, why? I, are you not seeing the lies here? Why is he finally coming to take over my land now? Oh yes, that land is the only meaningful land I, I have here in Umaka Kingdom, and I'm not going to allow anybody to take it. you have to rise and do something. Oh no. Let me remind you that this land that is getting you all agitated was gifted to you by my father. Because I am the Ono. What has that got to do with anything? I'll tell you, Ono. That land has been in your possession for so many years. And you have not managed to force any kind of development on that land in spite of the millions that you have been making from the timber market. And now we have decided to use that land for communal development. Oh no, I understand how you feel. Eh? I'm in charge here. I will look out for you. When it's time for you as a man to come up with your personal project, talk to me. 
father, I will give him a piece of land. As who? No, no, in case you belong anybody. Who are you in this kingdom to be telling on no that you are going to give no way a piece of land? When did you as position as the person in charge of land in Omega Kingdom? I am the prince of this land, oh no. Just in case you have forgotten, and that position is within my scope of operation. I don't know what you're ranting about. It's not as if the said land was taken from you for my personal use. No. That land is being used for communal development, which you, your children, and your entire generation would benefit from. I just told you now. When you are ready to build, I will give you a piece of land. Simple. I can't understand why you're not saying that. Oh no, you've heard from the prince. We will find a way to compensate you. But for now, this project is of paramount importance for overriding public good. You will find a way to compensate me. As in, you are dismissing me. What is it? Why do I have this very disturbing impression that you are actually the, the one behind the mask? That you are the one that is actually in all this nonsense happening? Why? Uh, uh, oh no, that's enough. That is a lesson. I'll take all from you, but I will not sit down here and watch you insult the king of this land by linking him to a business that I am executing within my capacity. I will not have it. Don't do it. I try to convince myself that the king has no hands in this. The more it becomes clear that I am wrong. Why is this man doing this? Oh no! You're still here. You know, it felt really good messing with you in there. Eh? But I tell you what, I'm going to keep messing with you until you undo what you did. You know, there is only one reason I am still tolerating your excesses. What would that be? I'm not going to tell you because you are nothing. But let me tell you something. So many of the men who already buried their souls in the air are mightier than the lands, you see. And you happen to be one of those men? Oh, come on, Eno. Keep your face. Stop it. Eh? Stop it, Eno. For you're nothing. Eh? You are nothing. This family made you everything that you think that you are. This family is your God. And your very stupid attempt to expose this family showed that you are an ingredient. Oh no, I am very merciless. I am going to make you bleed. I am going to make you bleed until you bleed out. You know a child? A child who dances to the sweet melody of Sorogede. We don't even know that Sorogede is the dance of the spirits. Prince Upaka. I say again, I want to do Mili Kwete. You are only a child who does not know he has already crossed the danger line. Go back and ask your father, and he will tell you you committed the worst blunder of your life the very minute you decided to tamper with the one that is holding the key. Ha! Huh. This man, he loves to talk. <laughs> eh? Oh no, will you hold no key? That is the impression that you give to men who do not know what is going on. My father is the king of this land. And I, as a prince, I am the sole administrator of Umweke. I am going to run you out of this town. You don't know what's coming. Okay, Paul? Baby. Listen, I am not here for this. I am here for something else. Wow. <clears throat> I'm 
So, um, what is it? I need, I need your girls for a job. I mean, my kind of job. I have seen them several times in the palace doing one of a few things, you know? Doing one thing or the other in the palace. But I know it that that visit is done out of courtesy. I know. Oh no, well, what do you want, my girl? Can you at least tell me what they go to the palace to do? You shouldn't concern yourself with what they are doing in the palace. So just tell me what you want. And did you know what I want already? <sighs> well, no, I am not a mind reader. You know, I, there's no way I can dance to your tune because we play different kinds of music. How do you mean? <sighs> oh, no. No, no, I... Are you not beginning to feel that there is any possibility that you can achieve any objective in Umweke without me? I have not said that. You know, our motives might seem the same, but I know for sure that they are not the same. Well, you don't know my motive. But I know you want to deal with the Prince of Umweke for hurting you. <laughs> You don't even know my motive. Ah. Okay. Can I at least use your girls? Oh no. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Nobody uses my girls except me. <laughs> oh no. Why are you suddenly talking and behaving so tough? This motivation that you are exhibiting before me, where is it coming from? <laughs> Please wait, wait, wait. Someone might pass at any moment and see us. Let's go. Let's go inside the bush. Eh? Eh? Hi. If you wait, you okay, should follow you inside the bush. Hey! Are you normal? See, yeah. if you go there now, I will not waste your time. I will do it sharp. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. See, see, and I will double your money. How much do you have? Don't worry, I will double the money. No, tell me, how much will you no. pay? I will double the money. Are you sure? I will double. I, I don't know my money. I'm yes, serious. Oh, man, you're a man. <laughs> hey, 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 you know I like you, man. Just be like this. Eh? Mm. Have you not heard about money for hand, back for crown? My money first, before anything. You know I don't play with my see, money. See, see, uh -uh. see, you know me. I don't play with business like this. I have your money. Just relax. This money for God, I never hear before. Just relax and do this. Oh, thing. God, let me see, see the color of the money. Relax, if it's white right or not. Don't worry, I have enough. Don't worry. Just here. Just once you get here now, that position, straight. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what just to do. Here now, here. Just, just, let me just, just, let me just see small. <laughs> this thing here. No, this, machine gone. No, 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 no. Leave, no, leave the money. Talk about the machine here. Just, just go this way. I'm serious. Just bro. go, 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 go. You take it easy now. Uh -uh. Oh, go, 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 Oh. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm seeing? Oh, 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 Drop that phone. Eh? You do not know what we are doing. Drop the phone! Ijoa, Ijoa, eh? did you just set me up or what? No, I, I didn't. Ijoa. Understand? This thing is just for the three of us. Don't worry. I am not going to show anybody. Uh -huh. By the way, I don't have a problem with your guy. Eh? Do don't be annoyed. I don't have a problem with you. Look at you. Look at you, some fine boy, tall, way short, way baba. Hi. Of course, who wouldn't like you? You know, the only problem I have here now is the wife of a prince dishing it out in an uncompleted building in the middle of the bush. <laughs> is this love? Is this For love? Where? Is this love? Is this love? That ah, ah, ah. So wait, Ifoa. So you are married. And they allowed me to commit such sin. If you were, if you were, 
you are so wicked. Do I look like a married woman? Okay, give me my money first. If you are so married, let me which money again? You don't do small. You just give me money for cleansing. Eh? Yes, now you are married. You just, you just made me commit abuse and uh, uh, like atrocity. No, no, wait, wait. You are not going to do full ways, okay? Eh? Don't I don't play with my money. See. If you don't give me my money, See. I will change that for you. See, let me tell you I will change that for you. Every gym, but okay, I don't collect two minutes already. Give me money for two Every gym, minutes. Every gym, but I don't know what you see. Yeah. I hey, you, you, know, you want me to change your baby? Change your Okay, okay, give me my. Madam, I said you don't play two minutes already. You see, you see you for now, baby. You don't give me three minutes. Hey, now my. Hey, I was it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. What, what, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? God, God. since you came back, you've not been saying anything. <sighs> Can you at least open up to somebody? Hmm. What happened? You will not understand. That girl must be a witch. Yes, she is a witch. How, how in the world did she manage to get there? At that time? At that exact time? No! She is a witch. You can't tell me otherwise. She is a witch. She's a Which girl are you talking about? At least, can you make me part of this um, conversation? What really happened? Hmm. She is a witch. V. Valerie. Hmm? Alpha. Have you told the prince about to know who's that? Bad man. And what do you mean by bad market? Look, Valerie, we are not here to play. Did you or did you not talk to the prince about Olohu's daughter? I said bad market! You cannot buy that into royalty. It stinks. Valerie, when will you ever be serious in your life? It's like you want this your dream to be replaced with water before the end of today. So someone cannot play with you. Someone play now. Change it to something else. Valerie, the question is, did you talk to the prince about getting married to Olohu's daughter? Eh, well, I was about to talk to him and convince him before I saw Nobu's daughter making out with somebody in an uncompleted building inside the building. You know, doing what? <clears throat> I have always felt that girl is not what we are seeing. <laughs> Obamaka, please, just hold it right there. Don't even go there. Everybody has their own problem. And Valerie, I hope you have not gone to narrate all these things to the prince. Eh, I mean, even if he saw no his daughter in the bush, I mean, once the prince marry her, she will have to be royalty and all those attitudes will stop. Listen, if you like, change my drink to water. At this point, I don't care. All I know is that my brother will never marry a woman with such class. Well, if she was actually caught in the bush making out. Then, not Valerie, our harbinger is right. And what if she made it up? Come on. Come on. I don't think that Valerie here is molded in the caliber of saying what she did not see. <laughs> <laughs> My prince. What? I can't wait for the tatata -ta -ta without stopping. You know, you're, you're, you're a very wrong human being. Wow. <laughs> We have a, we need to talk. I'm not in the mood. Why? Because you're playing with this one. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we'll all play together. No problem. Valerie. Mm -hmm. Valerie. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I am very okay. And in the long run, you realize that I am 100% committed to your permanent happiness and not a temporary one that this one here is about to give you. Please, 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 Valerie. With all due respect, you are wrong. My happiness is not too. Uh, it's okay. I will give you time to express yourself and prove me wrong. But in the meantime, nothing is happening. Door closed. I, I'm not enjoying this one. You're not enjoying what? I'm, I'm not enjoying this. Eh? Leave my room now. I can see that the enjoyment is inside your blood. That's why you don't know that this is not your room. Does this look like your room? Uh, well, uh, leave the room. I should leave. Leave the room. It's fine. I will leave, but not without her. Not without her. No, no, you. she's not going. She's not going. What, going. What, what, what do you mean? You're not doing what? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Ah. I have to wipe down now. Uh -huh.
，他的事情你去拿。I just wish there's a way I can send that Valerie out of the palace. That girl is a witch from the water. She has a way of finding out things and spoiling everything. Annabelle, you mean to tell me that you drugged her and she found out and exchanged the drinks? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, that girl is not a normal human being. She can't be. And you guys haven't found out what she likes yet? At least so that we can get her from there. The only thing I know that girl likes is music and drink. Yes. And there is no way to get hold of that drink because she goes everywhere with it. See. Well, as it stands now, Annabelle, you are the only one to do this for me. Yes! Even if it means taking this game out of the palace. Annabelle the Prince trusts you right now. That's why he's accommodating you in the palace. Listen, Annabelle. You have to do all it takes. Please. You are my only hope for now. I will try my best. Good. And when you succeed, don't forget to record it and send it to me. Okay? Yes. That's my girl. Just that. That's my girl. <laughs> You are here. Prove yourself a gentleman and um, sit. I'm not here to sit. Oh no. Get to the point and tell me why you have summoned me here. You know, Baka, we can always bend the universe to our will. But how long can we go? I want us to see and uh, Talk like man, man to man. Can you do that? <laughs> you know they say that if you would have to dine with the devil. You would have to use a very long spoon. I am seated here, looking at you and I'm wondering what would happen. Get to the point, you know. You know, we have this saying in Ebola, when you beat a child with the left hand, and you call the child back with the right hand and pamper the child. If you look at this, you will agree with me that we have hurt ourselves in what we have been doing. And I, I found out that there is no need for that because this is something we would have resolved amicably like men without involving too many parties. Don't you think? Is this a setup? <laughs> oh no. If this is a trap, I want you to know that I will walk out of it unharmed. It is not a trap. I thought about this whole thing and I had everything. I shouldn't have engaged you without hearing from you. You know, there was no need for the strike. I should have fulfilled the cardinal part of justice administration and that is to hear the other side. I didn't do that. And I feel that if there is time for us to put everything right, that time is now. 
Hello, I don't understand why you're beating about the bush. The only solution here would be for you to undo what you have done. It's that simple. And I'm going to undo what I did. I will. I am going to get all the men in council to file right behind you. They will vote for you. And you are going to get back your position as not just the crown prince, but the heir to the throne of Umweke Kingdom. Anyway. Just like that. It's just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that would be a very nice idea. Good. Well, until then. Oh, yes. Because I can also call my workers off and tell them to leave that piece of land for you. On top of that, I can reinstate you and give you back your office in Omweke if you play ball. <laughs> but I, 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 I think you are forgetting one thing. Oh, what would that be? <laughs> Marrying my daughter who you defied. Oh no. I am sorry, but that will never happen. Do you even know your daughter? If you are in my shoes, oh no. I bet that you are not going to marry a woman more dead than the caliber of Reha. You are insulting my daughter? I'm not insulting your daughter, no. I am stating the obvious. Well, if you are not going to marry my daughter who you defied, we have no deal. I knew it. I knew that it was going to come to this. Based on what you have just said. I have no business sitting here. I know you have always wanted to be at war with me. You and I are at war. Let the war continue. Listen, Annabelle, I know exactly the reason you are scared. You are scared because you feel your madame is going to find out you are not working with your no. But I'm asking you to come down. She will never find out. I am going to play my own card and I know you can play yours. How much does she give you? She doesn't give you anything. I know Ndidi inside out, Ndidi was my babe. She's only using you. And I am giving you this opportunity for you to make your own money and become your own boss. <laughs> Listen, she's not ever going to find out. I am not going to brief you over the phone. I'm going to send you a detailed email to tell you what I want you to do, okay? But have it at the back of your mind. You see that prince? We are going to bring him down. Don't worry, I've already composed the email. Uh, just check your mail in the next two, three minutes and you will have the low down of what I want you to do. You will make money. And you will be happy. Beautiful Annabelle. Bye bye. And then we'll be there. But see you back. And you see you back. My love. Mm -hmm. Why do you always bring me to this guest room? Oh, um. It's actually for, you know, for privacy. Yeah, you know, my sisters on tyrants. 
Mm. Uh, there are tyrants. If I take you to my room, you know, they might just bust in and, you know, begin to attack us. But if I, if I, if I sneak you in here, we can just have a moment without anyone knowing. Uh, right. <laughs> it's fine. You know what? Let me get something. I'll be back. Uh, yeah, baby. Yes. You know what? Before you come out, I want you to be unclad, you know. Everything off. Like naked? Not a single thing. Wow. Like you want me to? <laughs> you know now, Odogo, I want to see everything the way God made you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you sure you can handle it? Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, you're asking for trouble. <laughs> Jokwes. This is a good trouble. Jokwes. <laughs> you should ask questions. Eh? Okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'll surprise you. Okay. I'm waiting. These days are vicious and hungry. <laughs> they will forget instructions and have you for breakfast. See, Valerie, I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care. Just leave me alone. Let me go back to my man. Your man? <laughs> what I am telling you is for you to take this your preaching elsewhere. It is not needed here unless you want something bad to happen to you. <laughs> Valerie, there's nothing you can do. I love the prince. And the prince loves me. So no matter what you do, you cannot stop us. So please let me go back. You see this girl? You will push me to the wall and I will treat you like a Jesus. common criminal. Come on, come on. You do You know, if anyone had told me that that boy would be able to pull this level of stunt, I would have loved that person to rest calm. In fact, I would have dismissed the person as a joker. I never saw this coming. And my main problem is that despite all the things I have done to bring him down, I have not managed to record any success. You have to calm down too. I trust you know, Prince Obaka is small. Too small compared to those you have sent to exile. I know, but I I am still bothering how that boy suddenly becomes so connected. How was he able to gather the kind of power he now has? No matter how much power he has gained, you still have the elders. All of the elders in council, in your palms. We owe you. And we can never forsake you. Thank you for telling me that and I I'm happy hearing it from you, but uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, I don't know. It was but this is becoming more difficult than I was thinking. <laughs> Telling you. Come to think of it, you know, why are you still insisting on his marrying your daughter? I mean, of what benefit is it since he's no longer our king to be? Uh, well, it was look where I need to remind you that anymore, but then, well, if, if he marries my daughter before the expiration of the stipulated 90 days, 
then I am going to collapse everything and uh, make sure he emerges the next king of this kingdom. Mm. Oh no! We are going to. And who says you are not a good man? I mean, I don't know. Good man, no, 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 no. With the way Valerie is going, I'm not sure she's going to buy into our terms. So I think we should sideline her and do our things. Look at it critically, is the one. Does it make any sense sidelining her when she's doing all her best, trying to save the prince from any possible disaster? I can see you have bought into her cock and bull, so there is no need for us having this conversation. Greetings, the princesses of our land. Greetings, Amanda. The way you visit this palace nowadays, one would think maybe you want to start working here. Wow. If that opportunity will be given to me, that will be the best thing that happened in my life. I mean, who wouldn't want to work in the palace? I see. I see. And why are you girls still giving this one audience? Is there anything wrong with giving her audience? Hi. How are you, Gigiba? Listen, your mission here is very suspicious. So, I suggest you stop. Because your plans have failed. And where do you think you're going? Shh. Papa might hear you. Lower your voice, okay? Lower your voice. You want to sneak out as usual. When will you stop this your lifestyle? Listen, Bichi. Do not insult me in your entire life. Don't try it again. I am your elder sister. No. Oh. Okay. Listen, I have a friend's party to attend. If Papa asks you, <laughs> tell him, tell him I went to Zamaka's place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elder sister. Uh, yeah. I'm gone. I'll see you later. Please. Don't, you. Don't fuck up. If it was okay, and where do you think you are going? Um, uh, Papa. You are still awake. Can you see your life? Why have you decided to be useless and continue to bring shame upon yourself in this Awomweke kingdom? Is this not the reason why you have nobody coming to seek for your hand in marriage? Is this not the reason even the prince of our land has decided not to do anything with you? Why can't you call yourself to a meeting? and advise yourself. Papa, what is wrong in attending a friend's party? Eh? What wrong have I done now? What wrong have I done? Hey, listen, you see, your freedom of movement is cancelled. Hey, listen, I don't want you to ever leave this compound when I have not said so, especially at night. Now, if you know what is good for you, go back to your room, Take your shower, remove all this rubbish you have painted on your face and go and sleep. Ah, huh, Papa, that one will not be possible. This is what you call house arrest. It's not going to be possible, Papa. If you want me to show you the reason even men are scared of me, I am going to oblige you the experience. Get inside. Fast! Papa, you don't say party! <coughs> Papa, I plead on her behalf. Please, forgive her. Do not try to make a case for this one. The biggest problem both of you have is that you don't even know me. No matter how tall the okra tree may decide to grow, 
There is no way in this world it will outgrow the owner who planted it. I told my own daughter that she must not go anywhere. And then she decided to monitor me to know when I have gone to sleep. And then she sneaked out. And you are here making a case for her. Papa. Eh? Papa, I'm so sorry. Eh? It will not happen again. It was the devil. Eh? It was the devil. You have me. seen the devil. So the devil was here last night to tell you to disobey what I said. If you don't want me to slap the living daylight out of you, just shut up. By the time I am done with you, if oh, by the time I finish dealing with you for disobeying me, you will regret that day you started following me. Hey. Shut up. It's okay. Papa wants the best for you. Best for me, you say? It's because I'm still living under his roof. I am an adult. Some of my mates have finished giving birth to their children. I do not deserve this. No, I do not deserve this. I do not deserve this. Then learn to obey him now that you're still under his roof. Ah, I will do whatever it takes to leave his house for him. Mm. Whatever it takes. Even if it means saying yes to someone that I do not love. I will do it. I must leave his house. I must. Before what? Don't take hasty decisions that you will live to regret. Now. I do not care. I do not care anymore. I don't care. Can you listen? Mm. At this point, I need to let you know. I, I, I have someone. I have someone I've been saying no to all this while. I have someone. I think it's high time. I set this proposal. I cannot. I cannot take this humiliation anymore. I can't. I don't think this is the right decision. Can you calm down? Just hold on until you find someone you love. Trust me. My own father. Greetings, Father. Greetings, the King of Umarike. When did this start? When did you start greeting me like strangers? What is going on? Father, because we do not understand you anymore. And we are not happy with you. Yes, Father. How can you just fold your hands and allow everything go south? Can you two be specific and stop rigmaroling? What is the problem? Father, you have not been acting like the father I used to know. The truth is about to leave this family and you're not acting like you're bothered about it. And I want to ask you, Father, what is the problem? Why? No, but first of all, who told you that I am not bothered? Father, is it not very obvious? You cannot even caution the prince. You don't even want to find a solution to this whole mess. You just, you just carefree about the whole thing. Hmm. Now, let me tell you. There are times in a man's life you have no choice than to sit and watch and allow God's will to take its course. The last thing that I would want to happen 
is to see this throne leave this family. But if that is the way my child wants it to go, who am I to question them? Father, there is no way your child will ever allow that. It has been unknown all along. Yes. How can you bring an innocent man into this? Father, Ono is not innocent like you just said. He was the one that sent Ezazu to provoke the prince. And he's also the one that has been trying so hard to take the throne away from this family. But what are you telling me? Father, we, we had wanted to keep this from you, but the way things are going, you have every right to know. Oh no, he's not the good man he pretends to be. You mean a man sent you 400,000 naira just like that? Yes. The same man I told you that said he would like to marry me. Mm. He is very rich and I am beginning to like him. <laughs> <laughs> So because he sent you money, now you're beginning to like him. Come on, you are more than this before. Eh? Hey, me. Nobody is more than anything. Nobody. See, if I marry this guy, I will never, ever suffer again. No, the guy is loaded. With you in hard currency. <laughs> Do not worry, I can't wait for you to see him, so you will confirm him. <laughs> not that I am not happy for you. Mm -hmm. Just that I don't want you to make a mistake. Look, Buchi, whatever decision I make is my business. Do not try to spoil my mood again. Mm. Okay. I just hope we are not doing all this because you want to leave this house. Why would Ono do something like this? What does he stand to gain from it? What have I done to deserve such wickedness from him? How will I approach him to force him to explain his own side of the story? Good afternoon, my beautiful daughter. Where's your sister? As usual. She's upstairs. Papa. Were you the one that gave birth to me? What? Like, are you my biological father? Or just a child you picked by the riverside and decided to take care of? Where is this coming from? I mean, how can you say something like this to me? Papa, just tell me the truth. I can handle it. Okay. You are my biological daughter. You know, why will you think you are not? Growing up till date, you don't care if I am dead or alive. All you care about is Ifuwa. Sometimes I wonder if you still remember I exist. Now let me tell you something, my dear. I have always seen you as a very strong, intelligent young woman who can go all out on her own and get things practically right. 
you are very different from your sister. Your sister who is prone to making mistakes. Your sister who we have to guide every step of the way. I love you. I hold you in high esteem, my dear. And let me tell you something. I know everything, practically everything around you. Papa, I don't believe you. And don't even try sweet talking me to this because I will not believe you. Ibushi, you are my daughter. And I love you absolutely. You need to understand that. Okay. Honestly, I am losing it. What is wrong with you girls? What? Annabelle, you told me that you have the prince in your palms. What then is going on? Mama, it's not easy. It's not easy, especially with that Valerie in that palace. She spoils things for me. Really? I've, I've said it. Me, I'm not going back there again. It's, it's, as long as that Valerie is there, I'm not going back. You say? I'm now listen back. to me, Christabel. You know exactly what is at stake if you disobey me. So don't you even try it. Don't you dare. Now listen to me, girls. I am giving each and every one of you two days. Two days to go back to that palace and do exactly what must be done. Do you understand? I understand. I've never been lucky. But I will keep trying. You should be ashamed of yourself. Now just take a good look at yourself. See the back. See the front. Full option. Yet no result. Honestly, you should be ashamed of yourself. And for you, Annabelle, since Valerie is your problem, I'll look for a way and solve Valerie's problem. But then I want result. Do you understand? No yes, worries, Mama. Am I understood? Yes, Mama, Mama we did. Sure, sure, no, sure. No. What? Well, I've been curious. Andy, why do you hate the prince this much? Hate? Do I? <laughs> Honestly, Annabelle, if I were you, I will not use that word. Hate? Come on, hate is a very strong word. Well, to answer your question, Prince Obaka was once the love of my life. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yes, my dear. You see, I wasn't even looking for love. I was on my own until one fateful day. Yo, hold on. where I live. For good sake, Prince Obaka, can you just let me be? Leave me alone! Please! Okay, to your first question. When I want something, nothing stops me. To your second question. I want you. What is wrong with a prince like me falling for a normal lady like you? For God's sake, Prince Obaka. We all know how women frolic around you. I don't want to be like that. I, 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 I don't want to share my man. Who says you're going to share me with someone else? You can change me if you want. Please stop saying something that is very impossible. This is impossible and you know it. It's not impossible. I want you. If you really like me, you can change me. I am willing to work with you. 
I really like you, please. Give us a chance. Naira. It's fine. For me. It's fine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. <gasps> it's okay. Two million. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you so much. You're going to choke <laughs> the life out of me. Are you happy? I'm happy. <laughs> Two million. Yeah. I, I was going to get you something, but I didn't know what exactly you would like. I don't know your style yet. You know, so I just thought it wise to, you know, do this for now. Aww. You know, as we get more acquainted, I get to know your style, I begin to buy your gifts. Hmm. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hmm. Yeah, I see you smiling. Oh, wow, yeah, I'm happy. Grinning I'm happy. from ear to ear now. You can say that again. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you too. Uh, speaking of love, um, how about you give me some sugar? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Relax now, go there now, but release this thing. Give me this thing. You want some sugar? Uh, plenty sugar. Are you sure you can handle this sugar? Uh, you know they say something can kill a man. If you kill me now, you do not die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, come yeah. get some sugar. Come on. You, can, you can handle it. I can. Ijukwese. Ijukwese. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, alrighty. Come have some sugar, okay? Alright, baby, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why are you looking at me like that? Why have you not been picking my calls? I've been busy. You've been busy? Mm-hmm. Busy doing what? No, no, what, what office are you occupying now? Oh. That I will call you for three whole days. You will not pick my call and you will not return the call. No, please. Let's talk about this some other time. Please. And there's something I've been meaning to talk to you Go about. ahead. Talk to me about whatever because I think I want to listen to it all. There is something about your behavior that I don't understand. Can you start talking? Right now? Right now, yes! Huh. <clears throat> well, no. I've been meaning to tell you that I no longer want to continue with this relationship. Come on. How can you say that? Did I do anything wrong? <sighs> No, no, no. Did I offend you in any way? Oh, no. Well, you did nothing wrong. So why will you suddenly wake up and say you want to end the relationship? Do you know how much I have invested into this relationship that you just want to end it? Why? For God's sake, so no. I don't want this relationship anymore. Must I give you reasons why I am quitting this relationship? I'm not doing it again. I don't want it anymore. As you can see, I was on my way out before you walked in. Can you just leave so I can lock up the door? Leave me. Hey, mama. Why are you doing this? You know very well that the prince is my man. Why are you preventing me from seeing him? I know. As you speak, he is in his chamber, but does not want to see you. In fact, he has given specific instruction. Hmm. He gave a specific instruction. And what instruction is that, if I may ask? He has ended things with you. <laughs> this is the greatest joke of the year. Okay, let's assume that the prince has ended things with me. Why will you be the one he will send to relate the message to me? Because I am head of the guards. He gave a message to deliver to Ndidamaka. Are you not the one? Are you not the one? Are you serious? Very serious. In fact, as we speak right now, he is in his chamber with a babe. Yes. You have gone down with your no, and that has spoiled everything between you and the prince. 
You mean the prince told you about my past? To the extent of discussing my private life with you? A woman mingling with royalty has no private life. We know everything. Your romance with the Omoru has spoiled everything between you and the prince. So we cannot do anything about it. He made me fall in love with him. And then he turned around and broke my heart into pieces. You know, at first, at first I, 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 I felt like taking a revenge. But then, I said, no. I will do everything it takes for Prince Obaka to marry me. I don't care what it takes. Do you want to marry the prince? But considering what happened and the reason he gave for doing what he did, I mean, one could say that he wasn't totally wrong. Annabelle, what was that? No, no, no. What was that? You must be a fool. A big fool. No, no, you know what? I don't even blame you. I don't blame you. I blame myself for opening up my big mouth and confiding in you. Oh, the day when the pressure from this mess was eating deep into my marrow. I called you as a trusted friend whom I felt had the best interest for me. Oh no, how could you be this wicked? Oh yes, sir. I am indeed very sorry. Right from the very day I started to plan all this, I had only one concern. And that concern is how you will react when everything bursts out in the open. You are not just my king. You are my trusted friend. And uh, you have not betrayed me to the best of my knowledge. You have never stabbed me in the back. But as the saying goes, when a finger dips itself into the pot of oil, other fingers will be affected eventually. I did what I did because the prince, your son, touched me at the very core of my life. In fact, he tampered with the very existence of my being. And what I did happens to be the only thing I remembered on how I can pay him back. So, tell me, what did my son do to you that you could not tell me about? Even as a, as a family friend, didn't you think of the consequences of what you planned to do? Uh, yo, yo, my, yo, I was not thinking of the consequences because the prince himself did not think of the consequences when he did what he did. Let, let me just present it to you. Good. And I, I believe you will understand it because you are a good man. The prince, your son, defied my daughter and has refused to marry her. What? I don't know. What did you just say? You know, but you know, For how long did this go on and I wasn't aware of it? Well, your majesty, your son will be in the best position to answer that question. The majesty, I just found out. But before I found out, only God knows for how long. For how long? Only Queen Mamaya. Your majesty. Madam. This is unbelievable. Annabelle, you are a fool. You want to deliver the prince to someone else? The same prince who has started liking you. Are you not supposed to find a way and make him yours? I mean, whatever useless money Ndidi and Onowu are going to pay you is not as good as having him to myself. Yes. 
They say one thing must kill a man. Mm. But to be honest with you, it will be a tragedy if the man is killed by the same thing that brought him into the world. What have I done this time around? Then? So upon all the girls you've been going out with, you were never satisfied until you had Onowu's daughter. How could you, son? Dad, I am actually surprised that this uh, is up for discussion. Dad, we're adults. I did not force her to do what she did with me. She loved it for as long as it lasted. Oh, I loved it too. But the moment we could not continue, she, she understood it and she moved on. So I don't, I don't see why this is a big deal. Well, it is a big deal because Ono, the man in question, is my friend. And you were not supposed to have anything intimate with the daughter if you are not ready to make her your wife. Dad, I did not force her to do what she did with me. <laughs> I didn't force her, Dad. Well, you are going to marry her. What? what? <laughs> dad, what? Really? No, come on, Dad. That, that's so true. That's never going to happen. <laughs> no, Dad. No, no, no. no. Well, let, let me tell you. You are in a very serious trouble. And to get out of that trouble, you must make her your wife. Nah, Dad. That would not happen, Dad. I can't. Dad, to be honest with you, when I met her, I had planned to make her my wife. But as time went on, I realized that she isn't fit for a queen, if you get what I mean. And so I, I decided to let her go. What do you mean by that? Everywhere is war. Me say war. Ah! My guy, my guy. Who's your guy? One second, no, no. I just want, I just want, just want to ask you one question. Who is this? Why is it that you are hell bent on seeing that your daughter marries the prince? Is there something you're not telling us? Listen to me. Even the king of Umweke has never considered your opinion on anything because he knows you hold no opinion. I'm going to advise you. Do not ever get involved in any of my things again. Don't interfere. You just said I won't go pay me. <laughs> I don't care about your opinion of me. You see, there is no single man in Umweke kingdom that can boast of having seen the woman in me. But unfortunately, the same can't be said of your daughter. She's seen even in the bush. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Mm. Ask her. Go home and ask her. I saw her with my own two eyes. In the bush, 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 bush. Bush. You have to wash your mouth and mind the kind of things you say about my daughter. You may have become a princess because the king calls you daughter. But you have to understand the person you're talking about is the daughter of Diono, right before Diono, and I'm not going to take it lightly with anybody who slanders her image. Sure, sir. Oh, no, sir. Number one. <laughs> I respect your hierarchy. But go home. Go home and ask her. If she denies it, I'll be forced to bring out my evidence. What I know is that Wakana Nagba Ndumili will never marry a woman who has lost her decency of womanhood. Get out of my face, idiot. Shosa! Shasa! Why in the east? Greetings, Oyo. Greetings, Oyo. Please take a seat. Thank you very much, Oyo. You're welcome. I invited you as uh, as promised. I was spoken to the prince, and um, 
I am pleading with both of you to allow me to settle this. Your Majesty, I don't know why you are overworking yourself or nothing. You know me. I am not a troublemaker. To solve this problem is very simple. Let your son here marry the woman he defied. Never. Never. Oh, this is your plan, eh? You're looking for a way to ship off your very spoiled daughter. This is your plan. Father, he knows that he has a lost daughter. He's looking for a way to ship her off because he knows that no reasonable man out there would make her his wife. I'm not that man or no. Don't insult my daughter, please. That she fell for your sheep lies and gave herself to you is not a reason for you to insult her personality. Oh no, your daughter has no personality. You try very hard to score her high in front of the king. We'll be making mockery of the very decent women that we have out there. Onyeze, can you hear the insult he is giving me right before you? Oh no, oh no, please. Just go back home. I will remember. I'll get in touch with you later. Please. I don't know. I am going to cripple that son of the king. I am going to so cripple him that he will not understand what happened to him. Can you imagine that he called my daughter Luz right before me? What? What an insult. What a stupid and arrogant statement. You mean he called your daughter Luz in your presence? I'm telling you. Hi. And what did the king say about He said nothing. That I should just go and allow him to handle it. Hey. Can you imagine? But that boy went too far. Calling your daughter Ifo Wap. Losing your presence. Hi, that is, that is, is he stupid? And, but it's obvious that the king is supporting his son. Oh, but that is obvious. Of course. Uh, the king did not say it directly, but you can see that from his body chemistry and language. Even my encounter with the, that drunk in the palace before the meeting, made it so clear to me that there is every possibility they may have sat in a meeting in the palace and made my daughter the topic of discussion. Yes, that's it. Ah, but by the time I am done with them, they will not even know how fast they will run and come here to pay my daughter's bride price. Um, oh yeah, watch and they are nanya. <sighs> um, but you know, what is your plan? The 90 days will soon expire. What are you planning? What a man will do is very deep in the heart of that man. Huh? Even okay, he made the anubu. Okay, I trust you know. Ah 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 ah! Anna Bell, what is going on here? <laughs> and where are you coming from <laughs> with the shopping bag, my dear? The love of my life took me on a shopping spree. And when did you start having love of your life? You won't understand. Please, make me understand. Who is the person? The prince. See, I never knew he had such a good heart. I told him uh, it's been a long time I bought something for myself. And then he told me to prepare and go and take anything I want from that supermarket down the road. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> I'm joking. Does this look like a joke to you? This box is here. Does it look like a joke? Sister, I'm not joking. Hey, my goodness. The chicken that was meant for sacrifice is what you prepared for breakfast. I beg, I, and I, beg. I beg. I beg. Whether for sacrifice or for slaughter, all chicken must enter belly. And I won't do enter belly. I beg. Please tell me that. Yay! Madam, did you must hear this? Yes, 
Hold on, I'm coming. Mama, you don't know. Christopher. Yes, ma'am. Christopher, what? What's the emergency? <sighs> Annabelle has deviated from the assignment. Really? Yes. Christopher. Yes. What makes you think that? Prince has been taking her out. Taking her for shopping. <laughs> From what I'm hearing, I think they are dating. No, that can't be true. No, now. Ha! Annabelle cannot do that. Mm -mm. Not Annabelle. I saw her on my way to your house. Carrying shopping bags. What? And she confirmed to me that Prince paid for everything. <sighs> Are you for real? I'm telling you the truth. I've been hearing this and I thought it was a rumor peddling around but from what I saw, from what she said, I think you are better. <sighs> Annabelle, you too tiny idiot! I have to call her. Can you beat this? Wow. <laughs> All this for me? Yes, I'll do anything for my baby. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> you like it? Yes! <laughs> mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. In fact, eh, you're reading my sister's husband. Nobody can stop that. Uh -huh. I am behind you. 101%. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You see, this mm. is for me. Anything from my mama, I will do. Come rain, come shine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. When is your father coming back? Um, I don't think it would be a good idea for you to meet him today. Just allow me to talk with him first about you. Um, you know, my father can be. Very difficult at times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. Then I have to start going now. Oh. <laughs> nice idea. Yeah. Um you can go with my sister <laughs> if you want to still spend some quality time with her. Enough already, Pucci. Go to your room. I'll see you later. Okay, I'll start going now, okay? Let me see. Annabelle, what is going on? Huh? I have been expecting you to talk to me, but you kept giving me excuses. What is going on? Well, what if there is nothing to talk about? I said it. Just said the way she's talking to the boss lady. No, please. Who does she? Annabelle. I sent you to do a job for me. You are under obligation to give me feedback. <laughs> what if I don't give you feedback? What will you do? Yes, what will you do? I mean, it's not as if you paid me for the job. Annabelle, are you out of your mind? Please, 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 Ndidi, I beg. I say God, I beg you, I beg. See, I am tired of this, you're bossing around. I'm not, I'm not in for it. See. You're not the only person that likes nice things. And FYI, the prince is now mine. Yes. I will marry him and I will be your queen. So put some respect to my name. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. Okay. What just happened? Exactly hey. what I told you. Am I dreaming? She's dating the prince. Was that Anna Annabelle? Yes. Hey. She's dating the prince. It's and she will soon blow the whistle on us. Hey. Well, I am not going to accept your drink until I know what they are for. Why are you in my house offering me drinks? <clears throat> like I said. 
My name is Andrew from Umunevo and I like your daughter. I mean Ifuwa. And we are planning on taking things to another level. But I decided to come and see you first. Know you better before proceeding further. You know, I I appreciate what you have done. Thank you, sir. Coming to tell me of your intention to do something with my daughter. Yes, sir. At least it has given me the opportunity of uh, telling you a piece of my mind uh, without uh, offending so many people. Uh, I don't understand what you mean, sir. You see, if you were my daughter that you mentioned, yes, sir. is already engaged. Engaged the principal of our homeworker kingdom. They are getting married. So, as you can see, she is taking. I am advising you to look for someone else. Uh, is it possible for a woman to be engaged and is not aware? If you are never mentioned this to me, sir. Uh, because uh, it is not in her place to give that kind of information to a man who is coming all out for her. I am the one saddled with the responsibility of giving that information to you. And as you can see, I have not disappointed. Father, I will never allow you to toy with my life. Never! I will never let you do that to me. I love Andrew and I must marry him whether you like it or not. You know, your greatest problem is that you don't even know the father you have. I want you to save your energy for something else. Why are you so selfish? Why? You complain about my attitude, but you forgot to cause everything. How did I cause anything? How? All I did since you were born, you and your sister, is to cater for both of you, provide you with the best of life. Every single thing you want that is good, I provided. But what did I get in return? Constant accusation, constant bad behavior. And you stand before me to say this nonsense to me? You can tell yourself whatever you want to make you feel better. But I will not continue to stay under the same roof with you. I will not do that. I am getting married to Andrew, with or without your consent. trouble. What is it? I went to see the others uh -huh. to solicit for their votes. Okay. They looked me in the face and told me that I am not fit to be their next king. That they are not going to vote for me to be their next king, Dad. Who and who specifically did you speak with? All the others, Father. All of them. Start to finish. Did you ask them why? Dad, what other reason can there be other than Omo? Father, Omo has poisoned their minds against me. That man is evil, Dad. And he has to pay for all of this. Never mind. I will speak with Omo. You don't have to worry. There must be a way around this. Dad, let me ask you. Why are you giving that man a lot of space to operate? You're giving too much room. Well, no, he's overstepping his boundaries. And it, it's affecting me. But son, every king needs a jester. 
all over the world and even beyond. We have men like him. And mastering their game is what returns the peace. If I follow him the way he wants, that will lead to the collapse of the kingdom and I wouldn't want that to happen. Papa, this one you're rushing out. There is something bothering me that I want to talk to you about. Whatever that is bothering you must have to wait until I come back, okay? No, Papa, as usual, you will give me reasons why you don't want to talk to me. But if it were to be Ifuwa, you will leave everything that you're doing to attend to her. What are you talking about? I mean, where is this coming from? Papa, you've been forcing Ifuwa to marry the prince. Even when she clearly does not want to marry him. Papa, I begged. Allow me to marry the prince. Please. Do, 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 hey, hey, I don't have time for this nonsense now. Okay? Papa, just tell me that you're not my father. I will understand. Because there is no way a father will be treating his daughter like this. You know, fortunately or unfortunately for you, I am your father. And there is nothing wrong I am doing to you. According. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I remain the Ono who the deadly masquerade who swallowed even his creator. <laughs> I am undefeated. And they will never see me coming. He was shocked. But let me tell you something. The main shock is coming soon. <laughs> of course. What, 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 what were you thinking I, 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 I will be telling him? You? you know, I always tell the truth, even when I lie. Yes. They may not agree, but those who know me know I am a man of money. Onyenko. I gave the elders in council the kind of money they will not reject. And they fired right behind me. Not all of them anyway, but I have a significant percentage of them agreeing with me. Oh yeah, watch out and I know even that one. See, let me advise you, my dear friend. You are my friend, oh. You are my brother from inside, inside. Mm. Now only you they give me drink when I define drink. You know, you are the only one who understands me but refuses to understand me. Father, please. I'm not in the mood for this right now, please. All I want to say is, leave this town now that you have a bit of respect. Now that you still have respect. You know you like to talk a lot of nonsense. What is this? <laughs> but this is not nonsense. From what I saw, the game will change for you. But not for the better. You know that you have a mental condition, Valerie. Mm. Yes, you have not looked into it. You should look into it. You should look into your mental status. Get hold of yourself if I wreck you. Um, insult me all you want. All I know is that when I see something, I say it. <laughs> it is my duty. To always see, I guess. Mm. You're always seeing something. Well, the only thing I see here is trouble. Trouble that I am ready for. Mm. Please. I'd like to be alone. That's okay. I need to light my smoke. If you like, here would. I 
Are you still bothering yourself about what Papa said? He has no other choice but to accept Andrew. Prince obviously does not want to marry you. If Papa refuses to accept Andrew, I will run away from this town. I will elope with him. I promise him that. If not for what I am working on, I would have loved to elope with you. And what are you working on that I do not know about? Mm -hmm. I can't say for now until it's clear. Good for you. Papa, Papa does not know me. He does not know me at all. I will hurt him somewhere very bad. Me. He too is okay. It's high time we stopped, Papa. At least, let's show him that we're no longer kids. What's your plan? I'm gonna have to go my watch. Shit. I'm dead. Jesus, where are you? Jesus, what are you doing? Do you know who I want? Let me out! Come on, shut up! Okay. Jesus Christ, Jesus, please, I beg you, I beg you, please. You boy don't greet again. What is the meaning of this madness? Ha, ha, have you not gone mad? You have to let me marry the man I love. Or I will bring big disgrace to you in this town. Mm. You are so wrong. To sit here and think you can bring disgrace to me. No. You will continue to bring disgrace upon yourself. Continue doing whatever rubbish you are doing. It is your name they will call. Nobody will ever call the name of the Ono of whom we are kingdom. Papa, please allow her to marry the man she loves now. If she does not want to marry the prince. Okay, fine, Papa. I will marry the prince. But please, let her be. You will marry the prince. I'm not like a You know what? By the count of three, if both of you have not left this living room, I'm going to show you what the fire can do to the ear of the rats. One, two, three. I am ready for you. You are counting for me. Listen, I am giving you one week. That is seven days to allow me to marry the man I love. Else, I will make sure I sleep with all the elders in your cabinet. Be rest assured, none of them will resist me. I just have love. Some have been making passes already. <laughs> Imagine the opportunity. I'm already clapping for you. Why are you not clapping for yourself? Mm -hmm. Do you ever think I have any business with what you decide to do with your life? Look at this one. <laughs> do you know the man that is standing here? I even get that you have been giving it to some men in the bush. A mister. Go ahead. Do to yourself whatever thing you want. If you want to give yourself to more men in an effort to get at me, you are a big fool. You are not getting at me. You are actually getting yourself crippled. Continue. Open yourself to all the men that happens along. And let us see who is going to bend when the time comes. Look at this one. Look at this. I've been, I've been trying to hide it. Not to discuss this with anybody, and now you have the guts 
to actually threaten me with this, you are a fool. Don't put it to everybody you want to open it up to. No, no, you are actually threatening me with that. The net is going to bend me. Open it up to everybody. Idiot. You never told me you planned to do that with the men in council. And this allegation of you giving it to some guys in the bush, how possible is that? You must be very stupid to ask me that question. Get out of my sight! this to you your madam did this to me she did this to me simply because i i refused to do what she asked me to do you mean they did this to you because you could not deliver yes i had a chance to deliver though but i refused to deliver why you know that is looking for trouble and you know what Ndidi can do to you. Oh, please. She has done her worst. And I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. That is playing with fire, Annabelle. And to think you are doing this for a man like Prince Obaka, who both of us know will dump you for another woman. Prince Obaka has been nothing but good to me. To be honest, I don't care if he marries me or not. He's really not as bad as people think he is. And I'm telling you, I will never do any harm to him. Why did you say so? Such gods! You mean you have the impetus to come here? Now you listen to me, you riffraff. If you know what is good for you, leave this place before your dead body will be carried out! Oh, please! Please, shut up! You sent boys to beat me up, Ndidi. You sent boys to beat me up. When I'm here, right in your house. Why don't you do it yourself? <laughs> you call yourself the boss, Abi? You call yourself the boss. I am here to tell you something, Ndidi. For this treat, I go run you. I go show you Shege. I go run now you. Now you shut the F up! Who do you think you are? To come into my house and run your mouth? You know the fear? Hmm. Listen, I don't have time to banter words with riffraff like you. That's why I pay those who know how to do it to do the job for me. And listen, if you think that I am done with you, then you are mistaken. What are you By the time I am done with you, you will be running with this, your tiny legs hitting your head. Oh, what are you yes. waiting for? What are you waiting for? Useless woman, mm. a shower. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. You, you want the prince to marry you, Abby? Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something. You useless, overused cargo. Ooh. No man will ever agree to marry you. Because you know why? Mm. You are only good for using and dumping. Use and dump the same the way. Fuck? Everyone will keep using and dumping you. Just a shower. Way. The prince will still use you oh, and please. dump you because I don't even see any engagement oh, ring on your please. finger right now. Don't worry. The prince will put it on. Oh, really? When? When your grandmother wakes up from the grave? Oh, you know what? When you are done ranting in my house, you get out because I don't even. I have am not going anywhere. Come and fight me. Mm. Stupid woman, old cargo, useless, pathetic woman. You should have come to beat me yourself. Idiot. I called both of you here to say my mind and to help open your eyes. Look, I don't think I should be here. Just say whatever you want to say. Let me get out of here. I don't want to enter Madame's bad book. Please. Listen, Annabelle, just go straight to the point. Say whatever you want to say. Fine. Please, but just think deeply about what I'm about to ask you. Has Didi ever done anything reasonable for us before? She promised to give us money. She did not. She promised to hook us up with her politician friend for the federal government's grants for small businesses. Did she? No. Amanda, when your mother was sick, 
and you needed money for drugs. Did she give you? She said she was broke and was expecting some money. Yet, she went for shopping the next day. Okay, did she eventually give you the money? See, all she does is to enslave us. Yet, there is no reasonable thing she does for us. And do you think she will ever do anything for us? Ha! Huh. Look, her friend Uzani has just been made the commissioner. Oh, I feel she will see help us. So please, just stop up, stop with your bad belly now. Oh, uh -uh. It. When will you stop being dumb? Like when will you guys see the light? See, Ndidi has never done anything for us. All she does is to use us and then dump us when she has no use for us. So if you like, continue. If you like, don't use your head. Excuse me. She called us dumb. Greetings, princesses. Greetings, my ever beautiful princesses. Another here says she wants to see the prince and there's something very important that she needs to discuss with him, my princess. Frustration. Please forgive me. I am so sorry, Papa. Forgive him. But I, I want both of you to get out of my sight. I don't want to see you ever again. Papa, please. Forgive us. We know we have sinned against you, but please. Forgive us. We were, we were just foolish. Just accept us back as prodigal daughters. Please, Papa. Papa. Remember. Remember what the Bible said. To err is human. To forgive is divine. We have erred. We are not asking you to forgive. Eh? Papa, do, do, don't forget. We are your only children. Oh. Eh? You don't have any other child out there. It's only two of us. Even when I can vouch that what you are calling, as the Bible says, is not actually written anywhere in the Bible. But you're very stupid to kneel before me and be quoting the Bible to a man like me. Listen, I'd rather join my ancestors in peace than have children who will be disobeying me. You, you both of you, you have already crossed the limit. I said I don't want to see you again. I want both of you to get out of my sight before I do something that I will regret. Something very terrible. Hey, Papa. If there is no sin, there won't be forgiveness. Yes, I won't. Please, we promise not to do it again. Yes, Papa. Ah, yes. Papa, we will not try it again. Hey, no more. Hey, Papa. Oh, no. Please, 
Papa Mo. Yes, you need to understand why we have to do this. I have succeeded in turning almost all the elders against the prayers. I know all of them, they will vote okay. against him. Okay. Yeah, but somehow I am not so sure of those elders that they are standing with me 100%. Anything can happen along the line. Okay. And to avoid that situation where suddenly somebody you thought is standing with you will turn against you, I want us to do this one now. Okay, so uh, I, I can I can go and talk to some of them. I'm telling you, see, oh no, I am gifted. People actually listen to me when I talk to them. <laughs> is that is this a, a way of uh, dismissing what I am telling you? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, how many times have I told you to stop drinking alcohol that is not good for you? Alcohol. No, if you didn't drink alcohol, where is this nonsense coming from? Ha. You want to go and talk to the elders instead of doing what I told you to do? What are you going to tell them? I, you know, I just wish you can trust me. You don't know me. You don't know yes, answer. You don't know who is sitting here with you. I'm telling you, if I speak to them, I, they will listen to me. Well, I am not giving you the opportunity to go and speak to any elder because there is nothing you will say. Ha. You are going to go to the palace from here now. And do exactly what I already asked. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, with due respect, sir, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't think it can happen. Uh, 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 no. I cannot go to that palace when Kati Tio that call herself Falari is still there. Ban on ah. uh, Unfortunately for you, you are not the one in charge. I am the one in charge, and I'm the one who will tell you what you are going to do. You will go to the palace from here and you will do exactly what I ask you to do. Uh, go to the palace is not a problem. It's not as if I, I'm afraid of that job. No. You know, you know me now. I don't just want to commit murder. But I'm aware. If you commit murder, we are going to cover it up. I am very sorry for allowing the devil to use me. I was only looking out for a better life. I, I, I know it is not enough justification for doing the wrong thing, but I am truly sorry. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. When we were trying to talk sense into the prince, he thought we are busybody. You can imagine. I think we need to tell the king about this. No, not yet. When the time is right. And you, Annabelle, why are you telling us all this? Why the sudden change of heart? Since Prince Okmaka found out that my mom is sick and she needed money for treatment, he has not stopped giving me money for her medication. In fact, he cares for her like, like his own mother. So you had change of mind because you've seen for yourself that my brother is not a bad person. Yes. I know the ancestors of Umeke will kill me if I continue to foster destruction on the one who did me no wrong. I'm very sorry. Yeah, yeah, you cannot stay anybody here. Yes, you cannot stay anybody here. You cannot stay anybody here. You cannot stay anybody here. I'm, I'm acting on order. If you touch me here, now you are dead. If, if your hand touches me here, now you are dead. It's your. what are you doing here? First of all, is Valerie around? Oh, your head is still Valerie. Chama! Chama! Get my princess. Um, go and call Valerie for me. Behind you, I'll go and call Valerie for me. Go and call Valerie for me. Listen, I am not here to see Valerie. I am here to see the prince. So go in and call him. Go and tell him to meet me here. Go and tell him to meet me here. 
The prince is inside. You can go and meet him. But why are you speaking in a low tune? Okay. <clears throat> hey, I have cough. Yes, please. I want you to go inside and call the prince for me right now. Tell him that Ezazo is calling him. <coughs> Ezazo, if you don't leave this compound this minute, Hey, you know, Stop! Stop! Can you do that? Can you do that? You can't do anything! Look at this idiot! Are you mad? Listen, if you don't call the prince for me right now, I am going to set this whole palace in place and nothing will happen. Then I don't see. Are you mad? Idiot! Oh, say no, 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 say if you don't leave here, you go cook it out! Idiot! Okay. Chema, go and call Valerie. Tell her to come prepared. Okay. Well, 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 no problem. Since you people don't want to call the prince for me, I will leave. But I will come back when the ghost is clear. This guy is so stupid. There is something more to this. If it's possible, I think you should investigate the reason behind this. Oh, no, is the reason behind this. You don't need a soothsayer to know this. Why do you always find it difficult to believe anyone? I don't know. Yeah? You sent someone to do something for you, and I did it, and it did not work. How is that my fault? And you're here now telling me that you won't give me the, 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 the chairmanship that you promised me. Listen, no, no. Do not trigger the madness in the madman. And who is the madman? You? Esas, are you the madman? You know what? You're welcome as expired. Get the hell out of my compound before I unleash my boys on you. No, 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 I am the only boy you have on the wall. Stop bragging before me. Says, says, who? says who? Says me! I know you in and out. I know what you can do and what you cannot do. You don't have any points because. Which points? I'm the only boy you have. Except you want to call those. those beautiful flowers in your garden. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I, I, know, I need to understand you. By making a reference to beautiful flowers, are you possibly telling me you are looking at my daughters or what? Are you stupid? How else am I going to explain this to you for you to understand it? That I am no longer the one in charge of the timber bucket. Listen to me. I don't understand the kind of politics Prince Obaka has started to play. But as we speak now, he is the one in charge of the timber bucket. And as long as he is in charge, I cannot make you the chairman. But I am doing everything possible to dismantle the structure that he has set up. What, what, what can't you understand it? So, so all this rumor that has been going around the Mweke Kingdom is true. Which rumor? And I have been busy helping you to tell them that no, that it is not true. That the only one I know is too big to be defeated. But that is the truth. I don't know who is too big to be defeated. Nobody can defeat. I just told you now that we are doing everything possible to dismantle the structure that he has set up. Let's calm down and stop, stop behaving like a fool. Hey, hey, hey. The wise thing to do is to go back and ask Prince Obaka for forgiveness. You are faded or no. And Ezazu is intelligent enough to join the winning team. I don't know what I see doing here. What are you thinking? I know what to do.
the extent a woman that is bitter can go. You want to call the police? No problem, go ahead. Hmm? But be rest assured that you're going to spend a number of your life in the prison. It's obvious you don't know the gravity of what you did to those girls. But don't you worry, you will find out soon. How can you people come into my house, eh? And that insult me! How are you? Are you sure? Give, 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 give. Fact, I'm calling the police right now! I'm calling no, the police! No, you don't worry. You don't have to call the police. Hmm? They're on their way if they're not even here. Hmm? By the time we are done with you, <laughs> you will know how to respect yourself. <laughs> Did you think you just take all of us for a ride and we will not figure you out? Hey? I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! I didn't. Ah! Ah! Is that, is that... Issue was where I am. I am very bothered. How did this young man manage to pull this stunt? How could he have stayed this long without any scandal? The 90 days is almost here. And this young man has not done anything that can make us force him to lose the throne of homework permanently. Uh, that that is giving me a cause to worry. Stop worrying yourself, or no. Why are you worrying yourself when you have the chiefs? All of the chiefs behind you. That boy can never win. Let me be very honest with you. I am not just comfortable with the chiefs. Yes, I know they are behind me. They are with me. But they can change their mind at any time. And uh, I don't want that to happen. I need to do something. I can speak for the chiefs, so no. They can never disappoint you, so don't panic. You don't know how deceitful the heart of men can be. I don't trust anybody. I just the truth. Okay. Let's just hope things fall into your favor. I don't see... I don't see hope as being enough. I, you know, I need to do something. That is my motto. Always doing something. You see, if that young man will succeed, he is going to send me on an exile. You're right. And I don't want that to ever happen. I need to do something that will make it impossible for him to ever emerge king in Umweka Kingdom. I understand you very well, Ono. But he will never emerge king. You drew the battle line. You lost that It's the chief that will vote. So, <laughs> don't panic, Ono. Please forgive us, my princesses. It was the one who did it. But he was not giving me their excuses. <laughs> no want to go to jail. No, my princess, please. <laughs> Have mercy. We are only trying to look for a way <laughs> to survive. Please. Have mercy. Don't, don't send us to jail. Please. Why didn't you do something legit? Your mates are actually doing businesses. So what stopped you? There was no one to set up a business. We came from a poor background. Please, my princess. Please, my princess. My mother will die if she hears about this. It's money. Please, let's just let it go. They are supposed to actually spend two weeks at the police cell. Please, my princess. Please, please. My princess. Please. We don't want to go to jail. Please forgive us. Have mercy, please, please, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, please, please. <laughs> Get up and leave my presence if I change my mind. And I don't ever want to set my eyes on you or see you anywhere around this palace. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out!
How are you? I'm afraid I'm not fine, Father. Uh, it's the 88th day. Two days to the 90th day. <clears throat> and I'm scared. <laughs> Why are you scared? You are stayed up to 88 days. And you are scared of two days remaining. <sighs> well, Dad, I am not scared that I'm going to mess things up. No, that's not my worry. Oh no. Father, that man, he is closer to the chiefs than I am. He may have corrupted their minds not to put me in. I am worried. Well, you don't have to be worried. I have decided to allow the gods to take charge of this matter. If it is the will of the gods that you become king, Onowu will not succeed. But if Onowu succeeds, it then means that the gods will it so. And we have to take the verdict and move ahead with it. <laughs> oh no, your daughter is getting married. Mm. I am happy about it. That's good news. She's actually getting married to the one she loves. Wow. That's the most beautiful part of it. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Well, the royal family is here for any support you may need. Mm. Don't hesitate to call on us. Thank you, Onyeze. Mm. Thank you so much. Yes. Mm. So, what are the chiefs? How is everything coming up with them? It's two days to go, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, uh, everything is under control. Mm. Yes, two days. Uh, but I must have to tell you that I'm, the prince has done well for himself. Mm. I'm not going to take the credit alone. Yes, I did my own, but mm. the young man actually did well for himself. Oh, yes, uh, that's, yeah. that's <laughs> very nice. Mm. So, you were able to convince them to vote for him? Everybody has been flung into line. Oh, yes, uh. mm. All of them will vote for the prince. Very well. Nice. Mm -hmm. I know I can always count on you. Well, right. What are friends for? Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm doing all these things because I know you will do the same for me. If not more, should it be that the positions are swapped? <laughs> yeah, because you have to. Thank you for that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. you, you've got money. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> my guy, my prince. Man, I'm going to go. Get it? Oh no. Get it? Oh no. Oh no. When we finish, I'm going to be off your side. The troublemaker of Umweke Kingdom says the one who is determined to bring Umweke on her knees. If given the opportunity to emerge, the chief custodian of our cultural heritage. <laughs> oh no, you know what they say. They say that the anticipation of death is worse than death itself. I'd advise that going forward, you make a time to enjoy yourself. Hmm? Drink, marry, party, enjoy yourself. For men are not getting any younger. You might die of heart attack. I wouldn't know why you will say that, Obaka, my guy. <laughs> You know, I just told your father, the king, that I'm going to get the elders and council vote in your favor. <laughs> you know, I always speak the truth, even when I lie. Oh no, <laughs> you also know that when I say that you're the troublemaker of Umweke Kingdom, I necessarily don't mean that it is true. Huh? Oh no, with the kingship of Umweke, as we all know, is a sacred position. People scheme their way to that position in other kingdoms, but in Umweke, you know that that cannot happen. And what does that mean? It means that my father and I have decided to hand this fight over to the gods. If the gods want me as their next king, so be it. If the gods decide to choose another man, I will give that man my support. Oh, my man. You know, I give it to you. You are indeed a strong man of this kingdom. 
But your biggest problem is that you decided to pinch your tent against the masquerade that is leading the way. Mongo Buzo. And the key up on easy. Ah! Yeah. You're a man, but <laughs> I have a way with words. Indeed. I gave it to you. Oh no! Indeed, you're a man. But as a way with words. But I'm going to ask you, oh no, have you pondered on why the birds that lay the strongest of eggs never make their own nests? They hijack the nest made by other birds. And uh, what does that mean? <laughs> ah, and the author of Proverbs, the one that calls himself the chief custodian of the world, is confused. I'll break it down. Oh no, it takes a lot of guts for any creature to build on an existing. Foundation. Hello. I came to say hello. You came to say hello. We are going to discover eventually who actually is building on a strange foundation or existing foundation or whatever you call it. Uh -huh. Papa, welcome. Hey, Roger. Where's your sister? I knew it. You don't like me. You don't care about me. Why do you hate me so much? Just tell me. I think I will leave this house for you. I don't understand. Uh, where is this coming from? The same pattern of reasoning every day? Is this why? What I must have to come back to my house every day to be facing? I don't understand. Does it mean you are gradually losing your mind as if you are now going insane? You see, what is your problem? What's your problem? Papa, I want to marry the prince. If you didn't work out for my sister, it will work out for me. And what makes you think the prince will want to marry you? I am reserved. I am beautiful. I am intelligent and smart. Hmm. No man can resist my charm. I should be clapping for you. You know that no man can resist you. No man can resist your charm. Why have you not gone all out to use all these things you mentioned now to win the praise? Why would you be looking for anybody to help you? You can do it yourself. Why are you calling for help? It boils down to the same thing. Which thing? If it is Ifuwa, you will help her. But me, you can't. Papa, just tell me, why do you hate me? Oh, anyway, I'm used to it. Go and get me water to drink. Go in. And call your sister for me. father and it's good to know you still have faith in me why do you say that you just called me beautiful it means that your faith is strong <laughs> Valerie, no matter what you do to yourself that beauty will always shine on you always sparkle it is something you cannot erase from your life thanks for your word of encouragement 
but that is not why I am here. Okay, tell me, why are you here? I'm here to tell you, Father, that no matter what happens the day after tomorrow, you must exhibit the same faith you have just shown here. God will console you in his own way. For the ways of men are not the ways of God. You and your mysterious ways. I am yet to know who you really are. Father, it is I, Valerie, the sweet vine. The one they call your foster daughter. The one you have never discriminated against. I can't remember what you've ever denied me. I love you, Father. I love you very much. And I can do anything for you. <laughs> you have a way of making me feel good. Feel light. Let me laugh. Hmm? And let me also assure you that posterity will always be kind to you. To you. Elders of Umweke Kingdom, I greet you. Today, we are going to make a huge and important decision. And I urge everyone to be devoid of sentiments because the future of our land and children will be affected if we make any wrong decision. I personally greet you. I greet you on behalf of the men in council because you are a man we hold in high esteem. And I am convinced that in a day such as this, you are not going to allow yourself into a mistake following the crowd. Outcome. Dad. The prince lost. I have lost the truth.
If you listen carefully now you will hear This could be the first round My princess My princess. Oh, why did they always walk on for this? This place? man says he wants to see the king. The king. Hi. I I'm Valerie. Nice to meet you. Yeah, pleased to meet you too. I'm Joel. So, please, can I see the king? The king? Of course you can see the king. I I'll take you to him straight away. Yeah, that would be very nice. I'm uh, let, let, let me take it back. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, I'm okay. I, 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 can, I can take it. Okay. Okay. Um, this way? <laughs> okay. Princess Ugamaka. Where is father? Father is not supposed to see anybody now. Oh, he has a visitor from a very far place. And he really needs to see him. Your visitor can go and come back later. He cannot see anybody for now. Okay, then I'll go see him myself. Valerie, are you even in this palace? Don't you know what is going on here? Because you act like you've not been around. Father has been in his room for the past three days and has refused to see anybody or be seen. What makes you think he would want to see you? Are you serious? You mean father has been locked up for days? How come I didn't know? Do you know what? Make yourself comfortable. I'll be right back. My princess, I must say you have this hour of greatness. And I feel very honored being under the same roof with you. I don't know who you are, but you sure have your way with words. You are welcome. Um, please sit down. What do I offer you? Thank you. For now, nothing. Okay. You sound like a very smart and intelligent man. Thank you. It's unfortunate you came at this time. Well, some things are happening here in the palace. Something happened but unfortunately, I can't share it with you. Thank you. You've shown me great hospitality since the moment I came here. I sincerely appreciate. Well, um, it's late. I have to you know, retire to your hotel. Show me a hotel around. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow morning. A hotel? You're the king's guest and you're asking for a hotel? You'll stay at the guest quarters. You seem like a man with a lot of nobility. So, you should be treated with uh, noble gestures. You see what I'm saying? You have proven to me to be a very good friend. And I promise you, I will never take this friendship for granted. Trust me. How far? How far? The things I asked you for. Is he ready? No. You're serious? What do you mean? What, what kind of nonsense question is that? If you're not going to give me, tell me. Let me go and buy my own at home too. Ah. Is this about the dress? Eh. Hey. So because I asked you for a single favor, you started gossiping with this one name. But let's be real, sis. Why the sudden change of mind? I mean, why the sudden change of dressing and everything? Or is there something you're not telling us? So because of clothes, you are not insulting me. Because of ordinary clothes, you're not insulting me, eh? Don't worry, I will buy my club myself. Leave me or don't give me a game. No, no. Valerie, no, no, no. come on, Valerie. No, 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 no. I was just joking. I've arranged your stuff. Uh, you're so Greetings, Father. No. This is not Valerie. Where is Valerie? Of course it's Valerie, Father. Isn't this what you want? Aren't you happy? I'm happy. 
very happy. It's good to see you like this. So, Father, how are you holding up? My dear, do I have a choice? I told you everything will be all right. <laughs> the way you say that, I wish it's as easy as that. It is, if only you believe. Meanwhile, Father, we have a visitor from a very far place and I let him stay in the palace until you're ready to see him. Good. I, I, I trust your judgment on every issue. Absolutely. The mere fact that you found the visitor worthy to work in Paris is good. I'll see him right away. Thank you very much, in. Father. <laughs> you always say the right things. Thanks. Excuse me. You're welcome. talking to that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Don't tell me all this is because of the guy that came to the palace. Don't you know the meaning of a question? A question deserves an answer. Can't you answer? Let's be real. Yes. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, you have seen different men. Cute, wealthy, influential. So what is special about this one and why is it affecting you? Who told you it's affecting me? Shut up your mouth oh, before, before, you, before you provoke me. Uh, okay, fine. What do you have me say? Well, let me ask you. Do you like the guy? Ezinwani, <laughs> do yourself a favor and keep quiet. Otherwise, I would deal with you. Okay. It's all right. Okay, I think this one interests you. I called the royal designer to come and make you something beautiful and sexy so that you can stop borrowing. Uh -uh, that's what you should have said since now. Eh? Hey. Will you help me make some choices? You know, I don't really know how to do this thing. <laughs> Someone ordered me to shut up a while ago, you remember? Yes, I remember. Shut up and get out. I'll make my choices myself. No sense. Excuse me. Do you want the dress or not? Do you want? <laughs> Today is the happiest day of life. The son I never knew I had. Something I did not take very seriously turned out to be my saving grace. Hey. <laughs> Your Majesty, it is indeed a miracle. Miraculous one. And now it has become so clear that through the throne of Umeke Kenda will no longer depart from the royal family. Exactly. Eh? Good I am, <laughs> good I am. And we are very happy that everything has been restored back to normal. That is it. You see, I, I, I am going to make a very big celebration. Very big one. Mm -hmm. And after that, we arrange a festival to announce the heir to the throne. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh, that's the way it's going to be. It's going to be a very wonderful one. Well, on your say, I think the festival should be you know, planned immediately. Eh? Is a welcome development. Yes. Can you believe going to be out? Oh no, we joke whoever. Can you believe that going to be out? Eh? It is very, very. Hey, 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 hey. For how long are we going to continue like this? How else am I going to explain this to you for you to understand that what you are requesting is beyond me? There is nothing to understand. Well, um, 
I am thinking there may be another way for us to solve this problem. The king now has another son who just came back from the United States. I, I am thinking that is it not possible for you to use all these qualities you listed that you have and see the possibility of winning that one to your side as your husband, seeing that uh, Obaka is not available. Can't you do it? Why must I do everything for myself? Why can't you do it for me? You know what? When you are ready to have a husband, as in when you are serious about it, I will know. Go and feast my food. Prince, you're here. I, I was um, I was waiting for you downstairs. Well, I, I'm just trying to get familiar with the new environment. So, how have you been? I've been good. Just bored, but but I'll be fine. You are such an astonishing personality. <laughs> Thank you so much for making things easy for me. Um. I can take you around the kingdom if you want. Show you around, show you nice places. That would be very nice. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Okay. I hope you're settling fine. Well, the king has been a nice father. I'm glad I came back home. And your arrival saved the family. I call it the royal arrival. And I feel the gods planned it to dismantle the enemies of the throne. Hmm. You are indeed a woman of different orientation. I admire your simple understanding of life. Thanks, Emilia. Thank you so much. You have been so good to us ever since you came. I'm lost here. What exactly did I do? You did what you did easily. You are really a godsend. Um, uh, Jewel, please ignore them. They don't have anything reasonable to say. Come, come, come. What, what, what exactly is happening here? You people are discussing about me and I do not know, have even one clue of what you are talking about. Come on, it's unfair. Can someone tell me what's happening? Uh, okay, let me make it more easier for you. Valerie here has been a shadow of herself all these years. Mm -hmm. And nothing anybody said or did made her change her mind. And suddenly you appeared and she changed. And she didn't just change. She changed for good. Jewel, I told you, they have nothing reasonable to say. Uh, seriously, Valerie, if you like Jewel, stop pretending and own it. <laughs> I think I've had enough. Excuse me. Just <laughs> 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 She's shy. Oh yes, I didn't know. Oh no. Yeah, go to, go over to that side. <laughs> oh no. Sit this down. is my king. This is my dear. Sit down. Oh yes, sir. Yes. 
that. Sit down. <laughs> I can see you decided to bring your daughter along with you to the palace today. Well, oh yes, uh, she insisted that uh, she has to come with me because she wants to see the king. Who am I to deny her that? Wow, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. You're welcome, my dear. Thank you, my king. Wow. Please uh, feel free to come to the palace anytime of the day, anytime you want. <laughs> Thank you, my king. <laughs> that's good. You <laughs> wish, my dear, I, I believe you have seen the king. If you wouldn't mind, I want you to go and explore the palace. There is something I want to discuss with the king. Okay, Papa. <laughs> okay, my dear. Very You're good. welcome, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you looking at my daughter? Uh, I must say that she has grown into a very beautiful woman. And uh, if you permit me, Your Majesty, I am going to tell you that she is the one who fits in more into the position of the queen. Far beyond the four of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That is if you know what I mean. Eh, the queens are molded by the gods. Eh? Looks alone cannot qualify any woman to be queen. Eh, mananya ni bukuzeli. The eye. Oh no! It is before the mind can begin to process. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> You must be Jewel. Yes, I'm Joel. Oh. Please, may I meet you? Oh, <laughs> I am Ibushi, daughter of the Ono. Oh, Noah's daughter. Nice to meet you. Same here. My father told me a lot about you, but he never mentioned you are this charming with a strong, charismatic presence. Well, thanks for the compliment. If you don't mind, I would like to come around some other time to take you around the kingdom. So of all the people in the Wiki Kingdom, you, are the one to take the future king on a tour to Fiawa. And what do you mean by to Fiawa? Does it mean I don't have what it takes to lead him around the kingdom? Um, my prince, please give me a second. You see that man? He is a no-go area. Carry your load, go another place. Else, I will perforate you. What have I done wrong? I was only trying to welcome him. Welcome who? Who wants your welcome? He has been welcomed already, even by the elders in council. We don't need your welcome. He has been ordained as the next king of this land. Listen, if you don't want my trouble, carry your load and get the hell out of here. I am waiting for my father. He's with the king. Mm. You see your father thinks that we're dumb around here. You will tell him that I said that his plans will never work. <laughs> Did you hear me? Did you tell him anything about you? Or does he really know who you are? We haven't spoken to that extent, but I think he's grown fond of me. Oh. Wow. I'm so happy for you. That means he really likes you. And I like him too. I mean, he's cute. He's smart. He's also wise. He's the best person to be with. I can see someone is in love. One that shall never end. I don't know what you're talking about. But what I do know 
is that I think say it, say it. I think I'm fond of him. So. If someone ever told me a day like this would come, I would never believe. Stop. Was I really that bad? She don't know. <laughs> sure had Indeed, you're a man of character. I'm glad you're happy with my arrival, you know. Everyone is happy with your arrival, Joa. For your arrival is, is a rare privilege. Your arrival proved to be an act of the gods, for he saved this family from the coup plotted by Ono and his cohorts. This family is saved and happy today. And we can attribute all of that to your timely arrival. Joel, I want you to feel at home. For everyone here who has royalty flowing through their veins should be happy that you're with us. Now I understand what that means. When I was made a professor of mathematics in Michigan State University, yeah. University of Nigeria and Soka offered me HOD to their mathematics department. But somehow I turned it down. I see. So why did you suddenly decide to return? I told you the story. You know, to further buttress what you said, I woke up one morning. I decided that I must travel home. I bought a ticket, took a flight that same day. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that shows that the forces, the forces of our cause are behind my arrival. And they are really guiding this palace. I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to have a big brother that I never had. Mm. I'm also very happy to have a family. Indeed, a royal family. You are going to become the next king of this land. I want you to always remember that. Trust me, brother. We are going to rule together. And our reign is going to be the best in this era. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Your Highness, I do not understand what you mean by two daughters when I'm already enjoying the company of three excellent sisters. Well, um, Valerie is not my biological daughter. She's a friend's daughter, but unfortunately she lost both of her parents in a car crash. So I had to take her in as a family member and make sure she lived her life the way she wanted. You know, so she has no reason to miss her parents whatsoever. Oh, that's very kind of you, Your Highness. I never knew she's not your biological daughter. Well, she... Is a shadow of herself now. She took to alcohol and music. I tried to make her change, but I couldn't. So I had to allow her make that decision herself. But I've never seen her drink since I came around. You see, everything about her changed suddenly. I don't know how and when, but it did did change. And I am happy about it, you know. It's interesting, Your Highness. It's better as, you know, she changed. Yeah. It's good for her. <laughs> I'm happy about it. Believe me, if you can feel it in your heart, eh, I think that you should give it a try. You, you, you have my total support. Hearing you say this has honestly revived my spirit and oneness as a people. You see, um, all this while I keep seeing women, 
meeting women, but I think it's high time I got married. <laughs> uh, I must say that you're doing so well. And I'm happy that you're here and you're talking like this and you're thinking like this. Uh, I'll encourage you every step of the way. Uh, have you noticed that the English man continues to marry the English woman? Just like Chinese men marry Chinese women. Even Indian men eh, marry Indian women. So I'm going to continue to encourage African men to adopt the pattern of marrying African women. We have beautiful African women here. You are back and you're going to pick one from one of us. Thank you. But if I may ask, young brother, why have you not married to date? Well, um, <laughs> now that you are here, I know why. Uh, you see, the gods of Umweke knew quite all right that I have a brother somewhere, so they held me back. They didn't want me to get married before my brother. Uh, so now that you're here, they want you to marry before me, to meet the wife that the gods have arranged for you. Uh, so I can say that you're the one holding me back. Interesting. But you will do me a favor. You see, I want us to do something unique. Please, pick the one you love. Just propose to her. I want us to get married the same day. What do you think? Hmm. Well, as much as that would have been beautiful, but um, I am not allowed by tradition to get married on the same day as my other brother. So you go ahead, get married first, but I give you my word that a few weeks after that, I will get married. You know, this is all so confusing to me. This is the only family I've known all my life. Valerie. You see, you see, it has been confirmed that this family remains your family forever. You see, the girls are not sleeping. They actually brought you into this family to become the queen of Mickey Kingdom. Just say yes, and the whole process will be sealed in one week. But how is that going to be possible? The king is the only father I have known all my life. But he's not your father. We know your family in Abata village in the Maker Kingdom. See, Valerie, I know the moment you saw me enter this compound, you fell in love. Come on. You just say yes, and I will know and be fully convinced that the gods are behind this. There's something about your return that is connected to the gods. I say yes to you. Mm. <laughs> your return healed our land. And if my marriage to you will seal it, then so be it. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> to 
protect is what you are now fighting. When the custodian now tradition is against his own kingdom. Vovodo get deadly. When no more men are fighting, there'll be no peace for the community. 